welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games. And tonight we do have the newest Atari games. Yay. We have f five games. Ding! Yay. 48k RAM. Put 48 triangles on the screen. <clears throat> Yay! Uh, we have the exclusive update to Kix. Spelled 7IX for the 7800. Hello, Atari. Yeah, Atari's very excited. He's very excited for Kix, aren't you? Yeah, I'm sure it's that and not treats. But... <laughs> it's not treats at all. <laughs> it is NSYNC. I know what I did last uh, yeah. episode. Yeah, some people it had it go down right before you. Uh, yeah. Oh, no. Sorry. Yeah, but it looks like it's back up, so okay. that's good. Yeah, Yeah, we're all good. <clears throat> uh, and we also have three versions of Wordle. For the 2600 and 7800, so we'll be able mm -hmm. to compare and contrast and enjoy yes. all of them and really get to practice Wordle. Rather shockingly, I have not played that game, so I know nothing about it. So you'll have to teach me how, how to play it. I, I know how, I know so many people playing that game on Facebook right now, but yes, I, I've I not know. actually even had a chance to try it. So I've only played it on the 2600 and 7800. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I haven't played the actual version. Mm. And we also have a brand new game by Bido Empire called Monster Maze. Oh, he cool. did Wizard's Dungeon, if oh, you remember. Oh, cool. Which okay. was a super fun Very game. Very fun. Okay. Yeah. That um, yes. Yeah. So we have uh, games by Pat Brady, which is Kix, mm -hmm. uh, Anthony Blackman, a cardboard box, Word Guess, mm -hmm. Carl Garrison, Carl G, 2600 Words, mm -hmm. uh, Chunky Pixel Games, Matt Smith with Wordle, mm -hmm. and Monster Maze by Bido Empire. Uh, so I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers, uh, 8 Swami, Elnifer, Armscar Coder, who is scrolling down there, Atari Age, Big Dog Susie, Brent PR Pocot, Buck Owens, Canadian Tenor, Chance, Don Meow, I don't know, Charles and Check, Charles Wheel and Chai Five, <laughs> Dino Daryl, 1970 Drexel, Dr. Mookows, Great Offender, Ground Trooper, Roger Rapper, Johnny WCR, Carl G, Kentuckiana, Mike, Kev Kelly, Lauren TDZ, Marco Johannes, Mark Space, Incompetible Atari, Mick Muse, Mike Soul, Mike, Mick, Mike Littell, Mr. Fix, Nathan Strong, Neo Media, or Oren Deco, Pack Rat, VG Quagar, 70, Randy Ghost, Rentless, Repentless VG, Smitty B, Socrates, Spice Wear, Esther Toy Pig, The Welshman 89, Tiki Dan K, and Trek MD, and all the people who just subscribed. TME, TM Events, resubscribed. Yep. Danny ABC <clears throat> just resubscribed. Al Nefer <clears throat> just resubscribed. And thank you, everybody. And we're at 999 followers. Mm -hmm. Who will be the thousandth follower? Ooh, we're one away. Mm. One away. Come mm. on, people. <laughs> and Miss Command. <laughs> yeah, Miss Command. Just resubscribed for 18 months. Oh, thank look at that hype so train. Thank you so much. Bye, 48K Ram. Yeah. Thank you for rating the channel with yes, 40 people. Yes, thank you so Hopefully much. Hopefully some of them will enjoy it. Yeah. So we have um, some mail and news fat feedback, news and feedback. No mail, actually. Mm -hmm. But uh, Carl G actually came up with this really cool program uh, that another subscriber. Thank you so much. Hey, the D train. Everyone's getting their subscriptions back on. <laughs> That's excellent. <laughs> After we've been gone for a little while. Um, so Carl G came up with this program. <clears throat> Uh, v I S K. I'm not sure what it stands for. Okay. The save key editor. You know that uh, little thing that is making that does make sounds when you play games. Okay. Atari Vox. It has a save key built into it. Okay. And you can have a save key that's separate without the voices. It's smaller. Okay. And it saves all your game data. So on your high scores. Oh my goodness! Look at this. M K Smith Level and the D Train. Two. Thank you for resubscribing. Wow. Um, okay, yeah, so it saves your high scores, and also people are using it to have saved games as well, more mm. and more, so you can start the games uh, and play it later. You don't have to play it in all one sitting. Oh, that's nice. Um, Carl Dew is making Penalt, who, you know, oh, that's yeah. a, a game you need to save and yeah. play many, many times. Yep. It's a big game. Uh, he made a save key editor, mostly for developers. Okay. I guess if you like to cheat, you could also use the save key <laughs> editor. Um, but you'd have to know exactly what all the numbers mean. So mm -hmm. it's more for developers. Mm -hmm. uh, so Carl G posted this yesterday. In the midst of investigating possible issues with my saved stats in my work in progress Wordle clone, which we'll be playing mm -hmm. tonight, I thought it would be useful to have an easy way to display and edit the save key data as needed. I wanted to be able to view and edit all 64 bytes in a block at once without flicker. Anyway, here's what I come up with in case it's useful to anyone else. 
so you can see uh, where all the addresses are and the data in the addresses. Mm. You can save the changes, or if you made a mistake, you can just reload the data uh, and get it all refreshed. Mm -hmm. uh, people are having trouble? I or know. Some people our, are it trouble. looks like our connection's fine. So yeah. it's something else. Zero going dropped on. frames. Yeah. yeah. People are just sorting it out. Yeah. Okay. Um, so if you want to check out the interesting information in on your save key devices mm -hmm. or actually what i could do is finally transfer not transfer but alter my uh, data in wall jump ninja and put it on the new save key so all i need to do is look up where that data is located okay the range and then enter it in manually on the <laughs> on the new uh the new atari vox Mm. So I'll finally, because that's the only score I care about bringing over. Mm -hmm. So that'll be very cool. Mm -hmm. uh, the next piece of news, which is really, really awesome. Uh, Saint has been working on a multi-cart. So this would be the third available multi-cart for the wow. 7800. Wow. Called the 7800 GD Game Drive. Okay. So he's made other ones with under that name, like Lynx GD. GD for Game the Lynx. Drive? Yep. Somebody asked where these will be available. Um, they'll be available through all the retailers I normally use. Make that a little bit bigger. Um, have a look here for an idea, and that's where Link's Game Drive is uh, being sold. It's kind of a coming to an end now in terms of compatibility. All the 7800 games are now working. Oh, wow. In Including the, oh, what's that one called? That has special audio that we're playing. Ricky and Vicky. Mm -hmm. He's actually got Ricky and Vicky working on the 7800 cool. game drive, which yes. doesn't work on anything else mm -hmm. except the developer's own emulator wow. on a PC. Yeah. Um, and all now working the vast majority of the 2600 retail releases. Mm -hmm. There's still quite a few homebrew 2600 mappers to add. And I'm also thinking of include. This is the big part. I'm also thinking of including the RGB out as part of the game drive cart rather than a separate board. Thank you, Metal Yes. Seven. So he is going to include a video out on the cartridge for the 7800 because right now the 7800 does not have RGB out, RGB out board. S video is the best you can get at the moment. So it, it's like bypassing the system itself? Somehow he's getting it feeding back into the cart, back into the cartridge. Interesting. He hasn't given any details on how he's doing this. I mean, I know nothing about the hardware, but that just seems that seems different. absurd. Yeah, like it, it does has, seem absurd. It connects through pins, so somehow yeah, it's the going video, back and forth. The video, not the audio. I'm guessing he doesn't say anything about the audio. Oh, um, yeah, maybe. Yeah. yeah. So I don't know. He's That's doing cool. magic over there. <laughs> He's got Ricky and Vicky working, and now he's working wow. on RGB out. Wow. Rather than a separate board, it makes sense in many ways, so I'm going to try that and see if it's feasible. He's He hasn't guaranteed it, but... Yeah. Uh, so all in all, it's getting more of a polishing stage. Uh, most development is done. So if you go to the next page, he actually oh. gives a uh, estimated release date. Oh, we got a little... Yeah, hype train emote. What is that, a little it's dolphin? It's like a dolphin with... Oh, that's cute. Sunglasses. You know, you know that's, that's very suitable for the for our uh, most recent trip. There, there we go. go. What? That didn't work at all. Choo-choo hype cool. Only visible to me. It didn't put anything on the screen. It just oh. said <laughs> choo-choo hype cool. <laughs> what? Uh, is where it is it? I don't see it. Do you have to accept it? What mm, is going on? I don't know. Somebody that else can funny. deal with it. That was funny. Uh, oh, well. Okay, so where is this post? Blah, blah, blah. It did the same to me, but it's visible on the stream. Oh. Oh, what? it is. Oh, weird. Oh, yeah, oh. I guess that, that's strange that it doesn't do it for you. Um, somebody asked, where can I buy these? Where's the link to buy one of them? He says, not finished yet. Uh, I would say it should be available sometime this summer. Mm. That's very soon. Part shortages are playing havoc. In so many ways at the moment, I'm currently trying to figure out what alternatives I can use for parts, which are not otherwise available in 20, until 2023. Gotcha. Even then, only in small numbers. So it's either going to be this summer or it's going to be very far in the future. That's One rough. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but right now we're using 
the Dragonfly. And there's also the Concerto, which is available. Mm -hmm. The Dragonfly is not available anymore, or there's very limited numbers. Do they do they release them in cycles? Like the Concerto, yeah. Yeah. And he did for the Dragonfly, but now he's just like, no, nah, I'm done. Mm. Unfortunately, unless something else changes. Might be a similar issue with with the yeah. hardware. Yeah. Uh, most likely, it's yeah. just, or he's just sick of making it, and because it takes a long time to make hardware. Like bespoke hardware, he does it by hand. Yeah, it's bespoke a lot of work. Hardware. It kind of uh, is. Yep. Uh, <laughs> uh, okay, so let's get to the. Actually, before we get to the games, okay. let's show. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Some cool things you've been making. I have been making things. Now, are we saying what they're going to be used for? Yeah. yeah. Okay. You so can we them. are including randomly these <laughs> wonderful things that Tanya has been working on. Um, that we're going to be using for multiple purposes. The first purpose, we're going to send one of them to each of the Atari Homebrew Award winners. And also when Zero Page Homebrew the game is all finalized and done, we're also going to include one in each oh, of those are we now? giveaways. <laughs> It's only five <laughs> of them. Is, this is no, news I've told to me. You many majors. Oh, it's only five. That's yeah, right. Yeah, it's only five. I'm like, I'm like, am I, so am I starting some? up a production line? I don't. Yes. <laughs> we need uh, 500 by this weekend. So, where do you want me to put them? Do you want me to put them You'll down see. here? Nope. Right up against the camera. Up, up, up. Oh, there. There you go. So I. Oh, this is. Yeah. You can stand. Yeah, it's probably easier. Uh, no, we've just been making. I've been making little keychains. Just talk similar, loud. Similar to my. Um, uh, oh, I need a background for it almost. There you go. Yeah, I've been making keychains. I'm terrible at getting this under the camera here. Ooh, sparkly. Um, similar to my um. Yes, Tanya is posters. wearing. Tanya is wearing kaboom socks. That is correct. I am wearing kaboom socks. <laughs> so I've made a bunch of keychains. Yep. Various designs. Whatever tickles my fancy. Oh, and there you lots go. Lots of glitter. Lots of glitter and stars and ZPHs in various forms. Yeah, I'm trying to tilt them back and forth so you can see. These them. are homemade exclusives. They, they will are homemade they will not be for sale. They'll be given away in various forms in various things. Um, all the uh, Atari Homebrew Award winners will be getting one each, which will be shipped off very shortly now that these are done. And you have to show the socks after too, okay. apparently. There you go. Just trying to tilt them because they're quite shiny. So yep. depending on how that does help. And people want uh, craft night on ZPH. Yeah, we'll do craft night. When we do like an after dark, we'll do a craft <laughs> crafting at the same we'll time. We'll do a crafting, yes. Like yes. we did with the Lego build. Okay, these are actually James's socks. He's the coolest socks. So, <laughs> so yeah, there are they are kaboom socks. I don't know. Show them off. Yeah. Ah. Kaboom. Can you see the top there? Yeah, they see the little guy that drops the bombs. Kaboom. I got them in a pack of like five yeah, Activision James, socks. They're, they're the same, I think, both of them. Yeah. I must have shown them on the show at some point. I'm sure you did. Like all all five. Yeah. So yeah. there we go. What about past winners? <laughs> past winners? We'll no. see. <laughs> Going forward, it may just be for this year. I don't know. It's just a bonus. It was never guaranteed. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so we're going to play uh, Kicks now. Yes, yes. Pat oh. Brady's Kicks. Pat Brady's Kicks. Oh. I just wanted to show oh, the coasters. They've seen, See? They've seen, the they've seen coaster. those wonderful things. Good times. Uh, good times. So yeah. this uh, Kicks was actually started a little, quite a while ago. April 7th, 2020. So almost two years ago, we started working on it. Um, so let's just load it up. Uh, I like Nostalgic's uh, suggest suggestion of crafting while listening to craft work and drinking craft beer. <laughs> sounds good, that except sounds we'll get demonetized. Great, <laughs> will we? Yes. With craft work? Oh yeah, I'm sure some. There isn't someone's is... eight bit version of craft work. Oh, we can somewhere. do that. <laughs> it's treat time. Yum, oh. yum, yum, yum. It's treat time, kittens. Oh, and eating craft dinners. Yes. Here, take <laughs> Are you the stinky. Ready? Do you want some? Do you want some treaties? You want some treats? Oh, a very soft ding from the cat. I heard it. I heard it. He's like, I dinged. Give me my treats. And drinking drinking straight whiskey. No. <laughs> so I'll read Drinking some pop. <laughs> Since it's tree time, we'll, we'll read out just a little bit more before we switch over. Yes. 
Um, so this is Pat Brady's first game, on, as far as I know, at least for Atari games. Uh, Pat can correct me on that. There is an older build of this available in the Atari Age forums. What are you doing? The dinosaur fell down. Someone was just saying. The, dinosaur um, fell the game down. is 32K, um, but he is uh, got 128K with padding mm -hmm. so that it's more compatible with the concerto part. <laughs> pop. Yeah, we, we say pop. Yes. Yes. Um, those maps are actually very interesting. If you see maps of the Canada and the U.S. and where people say pop soda, and soda. Pop, Coke and different Coke. different terms. Yeah, yeah, Coke and Texas. They just call everything Is Coke. It Texas? Yeah. yeah. That's funny. I, th I believe it's Texas or at least the southeastern <laughs> states. Um, okay, now we'll switch back to it. You can see him ding it in the smaller screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he won't stop until the okay. truth are announced. So. so here is Kicks. And it is on the 7800. 7800. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So on kicks, there's two ways to draw. One is a fast way, and one is the slow way. And you get more points for the slow way. Mm. So you can see the points in the top right and the percentage of how much of the board you filled in. So you move around the board. You have to avoid these uh, sparky guys. Mm -hmm. And also, while you're drawing, you also have to avoid that uh, the kicks that's in the middle. Now, let's see if he's implemented like a timer. Now, he has not implemented the timer yet, mm. where, you, where if you stay too long while drawing, a little spark comes out and destroys you. Um, so I'll do a slow one here. Oh, can't hear the video game. It is quite it is a highlight. Fun. There we go. It's coming for me. Ah! Oh, almost. Okay, so I'm going to get you to play. Sure, I do. I so mean, I, I recall I recall the gameplay from uh, the 2600. The 2600, champ, champ yeah. Games version. Yep, yep, yep. Pretty fun. So I made it over. I made 77 out of 75 percent. So to tell you at the top. Yeah. How much percentage yeah. of the boards you need to cover. Yeah. And you get more the more you cover, right? More points. Yeah. More points, yeah. 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 So you really do want to cover as much as you can and trap, really trap the kicks in a... Ooh! Oh, no. um, <laughs> trap the kicks in a very small area and there's yeah. ver a variety of um, different... Oh, that was the wrong thing. I didn't need to do that. Oh, no. He's made it out. Ah. You can, you can get him. You just, just, yeah. you can get him. You're not going to be hitting 100% yet. So let's see if we can Dangerous. Trap you him. can trap him on that side for Without sure. Without going to 75? Yes. yes. Oh, I should have done slow walk. Yeah. I, I knew you, I knew you weren't going to hit that. So now I can do a slow under there. Yeah. And get a bunch of points for that yeah. area. Nice. It is 320C mode. Yes. Mm. Which is almost never, ever, 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 ever used. Um, apparently, it is three colors plus a transparency, which would be the black. So he's got like uh, white and aqua and orange for the three colors and black for the transparency, if I am analyzing that correctly. So I think most programmers find that maybe too limiting in terms of colors. Mm. or And also the way it has to be displayed is it's always in two pixel chunks uh, horizontally, mm. if I was reading correctly, which I don't know. That's why you can see the left lines, the left and right lines of each square are two pixels wide. Okay. Um, because you have to draw in two pixel colors. Uh, no dancing line kick. <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. That's pretty good. Will I make it? Yeah, 85. Ooh, very nice. It looks good. It looks really nice. It's funny compared to the 2600, it is less chunky. <laughs> well, yeah, <I laughs> which is expected. More graphics to work yeah, with. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, um, because the 2600 version uses Playfield. Yes. For the graphics and oh, don't get a die. Oh my god, that was close. <laughs> And uh, Playfield graphics are four pixels wide on a 160 pixel width, essentially. 
playfield graphics are four pixels wide. I mean, they are one pixel wide. One, but okay. Oh, just. Oh, just seventy-five. So if you think about this one, it's width. He's in 320 mode, um, but he it has to go in two pixel chunks, so that's 160. Um, so it has four times the resolution, horizontal resolution, of 2600 using Playfield. So you can get much smaller ones. And I don't think he's implemented two kicks yet, because in the... In the 2600, they had the two, but Yeah, yes. and in the arcade. And yes. then you have the opportunity to, to split them up mm, and get more points. Which is fun, which is yeah. cool. So this is just still a work in progress. Yeah. So oh, it's so nice. cool. It looks great. Yes, and the fill, the way it so fills great. it in is really nice. Oh. oh, getting close. So you have to avoid those little sparky guys. Yeah. That are going around mindlessly. Well, not mindlessly, they're on a track. They're doing their thing. Mm -hmm. Oh my god! 98%! Woo! That's pretty This is a game where high res is a notable... noticeable advantage for sure, for sure. Yeah, and somebody, see there? Because, I think somebody mentioned that in the development forum, because of the way it, uh, the mode, 320C, when you do uh, those lines, like, mm -hmm. I, like I did at the bottom, where it's just one, you move one across, it can only do the color, the one color, because it has to take up two, two spots, right? Um, so there's no room for the color, uh, the uh, aqua color to go in there. Mm. Oh, just in time. Let's see how it deals with a horizontal. Oh, okay. I'm just mm. going to try and do a horizontal single pixel. Oh, line? Uh, uh, there's enough room. Close. Yeah. I don't know if we can move just one. Mm, I especially like how the clo how close the font matches the actual arcade. Ooh, cool. Oh yeah, yeah, really nice font. Yes. So um, right now the kicks is just dots, but um, at the end after we play this, he has passed me a build of the game where it's he's starting to make it into. Uh, kicks lines because the kicks is made up of a bunch of lines that move around. Okay. Right. Okay, your turn. Just in time for the cat. So does it? It. So does it fill the space where the kicks isn't occupying? Kittens. <laughs> um. Yes. Yes. That's how it determines which part. Um. That it's gonna fill in. No, I. I, I was trying to do slow, but. Slow is very slow. How do you do slow? Second button. Second button. Ah, uh, there we go. Did you get more points? I think you had double the points. So, let's do some reading. 98% impressive. Yes. Aha! Um, oh my gosh, how did I not die there? So, in the forum and the development forum, they're comparing a bunch of resolutions for different platforms. Uh, the 5200's kicks, the play field is... 124 by 82, which is fairly low resolution. I mean, this is 160 horizontal, effectively. Um, uh, raw output from MAME for the entire screen, this is the arcade, 256 by 256. Um, and then for just the play field is 223 by 199. So this is 160 by, I'm guessing, quite a bit more height. On the NES, uh, borderless 158 by 158. So this actually has slightly better resolution than the NES version, mm. which is cool. That is cool. Um, oh, so early on he had the playfield as 95 by 149. Okay, no. So there is actually, a, it's wider, and the play field is smaller than the one sitting across. Technically, all 320 modes artifact. Not when you're doing digital. <laughs> <laughs> On CRTs, they would. Artifacting is a no-go for me as I only game on S video here. Yeah, that is true for here as well. Oh no, um, Pat Brady posted it's 191 by 171. Yes, 
Oh no. Uh, is there advantage to making little slices out of, as opposed to drawing larger boxes to fill yes. more of the screen? Yes. Yeah, there's a because bunch of tactics, like what you're doing. Building a wall way up, yeah. and then because, you trap them on one side. And I think the thing to remember, too, is when the kick, if the kicks hits it while you're drawing, yeah. ah! You're, um, you're in trouble. You're in trouble. So, um, so small ones means that's less likely to happen. Yeah. There's one where you build the tower, and then you build across, and then you build up. And then there's ones where you do branching. And then eventually gets trapped in a branch yeah. uh, randomly because there's no time limit to this game, so you can you can take your time. Oh, whoa! <laughs> I don't know how that 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 well, looks like it was a mistake actually. It's because he's dots, so oh. there's a small small chance he can go through your yeah, line. Yeah, that's not supposed to. At, not there. Yeah. <laughs> um, bug. Yeah. Yeah, that was a bug, I think. Um. On June 1st, 2020, I'm pleased with the fill performance. The current code has some major inefficiencies, but it's already in the ballpark of the 5200 version and much faster than the 400-800 version. Uh, I'll eventually make it fast, but it's fast enough for an alpha release. I'm still avoiding any schedule promises by getting close to have something to share. Uh, on June 25th, 2020, which I believe is the one you can download in the forums, first, he posted his first playable binary. Um, it has no scoring, no lives, no level completion, but drawing and filling works in his rudimentary main enemy. I actually looked up, remember I was saying uh, the Squamish people here in BC had seven in the anglicized version of their spoken language. Sorry, what was that? Seven. <laughs> the seven. Yeah. In the Squamish. Oh, Anglos yes. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Um, it's a glottal stop. I looked it up today. Okay. So it doesn't sound like anything. It okay. sounds like silence. Okay. It, it doesn't actually have it. Have it has a... no sound. Interesting. So it's the equivalent of the Hawaiian apostrophe. Oh, I Hawaii. see. Hawaii. Hawaii. Yeah. So it'd be that stop, which that sounds stop. like nothing. Right. Well, now I know. That's good. <laughs> but that's not what the seven is here. It's, yeah. It's, no. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I just thought about that Someone the other said day. Zix. It should be Zix like a Z. This version. Oh, Zix? Zix. So a 7 to... In, in, like, but it's a Z. Zix. Oh, Zix. Yeah. Well, he I, says I it, saw someone mention that in the chat. Pat says it's pronounced Kicks. Kicks. Okay, yes. that's fine too. Yeah. Someone was suggesting Zix. Um, and... I missed the part about the glottal. <laughs> what? Okay. Um, Repeat yourself. <laughs> oh, keep game, playing. Keep playing. Yeah. <laughs> I'm having a drink. Hold okay. on, give me a second. Um, okay, mm. we we have an indigenous population here mm -hmm. that um, lived around the Squamish area of BC, and they didn't have a written language. So there's a written language that was made, and it's usually using um, what is it? what is the same alphabet as um, uh, English? What is that alphabet root? Latin? Sure. No. I don't Germanic? know. We're, we're not we're not that uh, we're not that smart, but that's okay. <laughs> we're not linguists. No, we're not linguists. Um, Cunning linguists. Anyway, no. um the they have a seven in the written anglicized version of their language. Yeah. And you can see it all over the signs all over the place here. And I always wonder what it was and until I saw it in this, going, yeah. Oh, what's the seven stand for? And then I remembered it was in the written language. And you wanted of to know Squamish. what it represented. And I looked it up today and it's a glottal stop. Okay. Which doesn't make a sound, it's the absence of sound. Yeah. And the best example that everybody knows is in Hawaii. Yes. Most people pronounce it Hawaii, but it's actually pronounced Hawaii because there's glottal stops in the Hawaiian language. We're just there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're just in Maui for vacation. Um, so we learned about that. So in Hawaii, it's that stop. Hawaii. Yeah. And it just signifies a stop within one word. Yeah. Um, but that has nothing to do with the seven. Uh, no, no. Kicks. But it was just, it made you think about it, right? Yeah. Like, it's just yeah, a yeah. S side trip about languages. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But it is interesting. Yeah, yeah. it is. It is. I, I, I like language. It's very interesting. Yeah. Um, so the thread on uh, kicks went dormant about November 3rd, 2020. And then Pat contacted me in February 2021 
about showing it on ZPH. Mm. And he was like, well, when should we show it? At what stage should we, sh should we show it? And I said, well, when maybe when we have the score and there's, you know, a basic version of the game working um, where you can die and you can draw in mm. all the squares. You can do fast and slow. Oh, we can trap down that part. I know, I know, but this guy's coming for me here. Oh, uh, these little things. Oh, yeah. no. I, I, oh, no. Ah! <laughs> um, and uh, then he started a private chat group in 20, February 2022, wrapping up um, to this exclusive reveal. Uh, February 7th, he added the first pair of sparks. Uh, he said that was a lot more work than I expected. Um, oh, and the sound is actually all TIA sound. It's no pokey sound, and it's really, really quite good. All the, the buzzing and... It's really good for TIA. Um, and he said he had no plans for using Pokey in the project. He may eventually see if he can get any useful sound out of the Atari box. That's down the priority list. The arcade is a dedicated 6502 to generate the sound, similar to Defender. Defender had very mm, crisp sounds, I want to say. Um, and so does this. It's very buzzy, buzzy sounds. Mm -hmm. Um, the schematics show a TMS 5200 speed synthesis chip, but a po another poster said the actual machines don't have that. The background music is a buzz and a whistle. Uh, both are always on, but their volumes vary randomly with some constraints. Mm. I may look at tying the modulation to the movement of the kicks. That would be very cool. So if it goes up, down, left, or right, it would change the sound of the background buzz. That would be a very good idea. It would still be random in an absolute sense, but not random relative to the gameplay. I think that would help a lot. Uh, he said, regarding graphics, the graphics are 320C. I'm not aware of any other game using this mode. Despite the intimidating description in the software guide, 320C is actually very useful. 320B would not work here since it can't do horizontal lines in color one. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so I looked up 320C. It's three plus one colors. Three colors plus a uh, background. Transparent. Yes, the negative space in a language are the equivalent of a music rest. Yeah. yeah. The combination of the Latin alphabet and the runic alphabet of, of Futhork resulted in the modern English alphabet. There you go. Futhork. Wow, I've never heard of that. No, that's cool. Um, yeah, so this is pronounced uh, X. X. <laughs> You have to kind of stop yourself from saying something and then say X. Yeah. X. X. <laughs> like you got something stuck in your throat while trying to say kicks. X. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't Bob make some of the Pac Man games in 320C mode? You have to, I used to have them loaded up on my Mateos card. Oh, interesting. Um, and it says in 320C mode, even, even pixel pairs use the first two colors in the palette. Other odd pixel pairs use the last two colors in the palette. Hmm. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm just having a good time. Uh, he's not gonna. He's not gonna get through that little that little stretch though. Uh, it, that'd be amazing. I guess. Because then you could really, really try. Uh, and it says. Hmm. Uh, 320C will allow you four colors with transparency. However, the two half pixels are either the same color, transparent, or one is the background color. Sprites, uh, sprites in 320C are four to 128 pixels wide. I just read that somewhere. So he says, I'm only using about 13K of uh, plus 12k cart RAM right now. Not sure what the final will be, but doubt it'll be more than 32k. Hope to get the cart RAM down to 8k. The only reason for the bigger ROM is the concerto currently does not support cart RAM unless the cart is bank switched. I can't remember why I use 128k instead of 64. Um, and uh, Daryl 1970 said, uh, I noticed that I'm able to draw a box without anything to fill. We did that earlier. It's as if the left wall is touching the right wall and there's nowhere to fill. I do that sometimes in, the, in this video. The arcade always seems to leave at least one pixel thickness between lines. Um, and I'm, I know that on the 2600 version that Champ Games does, mm -hmm. it doesn't allow you to go down before you are 
past a certain point. You can't make a minimum width. So that might be a solution, but I think a width of... Ooh, very nice, 89. Ooh, not the greatest, but it's pretty good. Oh, Bob uses 320B exclusively for Pac-Man 40th anniversary. Isn't X one of the planets in Foundation? Oh, I don't know that book. Where's the book? Is it a movie? Is it a video game? <laughs> um, not aware of it. I think I think it works well. Like the thing you just drew has no width. Ooh, I was trying yeah, to yeah. Trying to outrun the guy. Uh, that was that was not the smartest. Should have stopped. Asimov. Um, so February 26th build, which is close to this. Um, he added scoring. He added Genesis controller support. So you can use the two buttons. He's chewing my hair. Genesis. Just in case you're wondering, he's, he's, he's like causing trouble. He's like, where are the treats? Shouldn't there be more treats right now? Oh, got oh, treats. So silly. Shrunk characters vertically, tweak the color, push up and down to the opening screen to brighten or darken wall colors. Would you just stop it, you silly cat? He's being very bad. Just just okay. letting you know he's a bad cat. Uh, yeah. yes. uh, bypass the level completion to and upon button presses. Okay, let's go to the title screen. Okay. You're not getting treats. Stop getting so excited. You will, but you you need a break first. So he said up down. Yeah. Well, there's no title screen. Oh, kitty, oh, sorry. oh, oh, you can <laughs> you can go brighter or darker. Can you? Oh. Oh, there you oh, go. Oh, you can take away the score, so you don't even know what you need to. Uh, well, you know it's seventy five percent. Oh, it takes away all the white. Yeah, so you 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 um. Oh, you, this is hard. No, it's cool because. Ah, uh, oh, of course. Oh, we did. I made it. Oh my god. Yeah, that's so cool. That's kind of a neat, neat feature. Yeah, I don't know. It looks cool. It was though. intentional that he goes all the way to black or just didn't bother not allowing it. It makes it hard to see where the edges are. Uh, oh, yes. get it. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Too late. No. Oh, that would have been so good. Ah! Ah! So good. You can see the lives in the top right there. Is tiny little oh, dots. I got you. I got you. You're a bad cat. Yeah, kicks after dark. It's all black. <laughs> There's no whiteness in it. Right you don't now. know what your goal is. That's right. You don't know how how, how much you filled in. Ah! It's open oh. world. Open oh, world. Oh, there. Open that's the kicks. trouble. Yeah. No, no quests. No quests. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Oh, now he's being cute. That's very difficult. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's put it back. Is he moving faster? Is it moving faster? I don't think so. I think it stays the same speed. I don't think there's levels. No. Not yet, at least. Were you drawing all in orange, maybe? Uh, no, I was doing no. both. Okay. Yeah, that's very slow. Very Blue is slow. very... Super dangerous. Yeah. Super I dangerous. Mean, that's the point. More, yeah. more score. So, uh, yeah, yeah. what you can do is try and trap this guy. Oh, or we got you. Die. This is like princess. a princess cat. He's on his pillow now. Princess on the pillow. I know. See? That's where the now dark horse goes. Now I've... Not the cat. Now I've kind of trapped him. Yeah. A little bit. You can. Oh, oh my god. Get him! Oh, nice! Yes. 97! 97! Good job. That is pretty good. Okay. Now we're going to show the brand new today work in progress version of this game oh. where he has changed the kicks into lines. Oh, because they're more like bouncing lines, right? They're, they're yeah. yeah, they're bouncing lines. Yeah, in the original. So this is fresh off the production line. It will crash because it was just made, hasn't been bug fixed, but the kicks will look different. Here we go. That's that's how the kicks are supposed to look with lines. Hmm. So it's this... also more dangerous and takes up more space. So. Oh yeah. It looks really cool. It's looking yeah, good. It looks really really good. And I think um, I think that the kicks has um, colored multicolored lines. So right now mm. it's just all red. It's all red. Well, it has a bit of uh, 
variation it looks like or maybe not maybe that's just the oh and and you can't die oh oh yeah he hasn't put any <laughs> collision detection in yet not yet eh no how's he gonna handle that oh, okay it must have been in that spot yeah. i think you yeah. can complete a level yeah it doesn't look like it's sensing the kicks at all so so let's go for 100 percent cool. because i can <laughs> uh, just don't get over 75. You have to get 100%. Oh, and oh. it crashed. Oh. I think when it touches your line, because I played it before the show just briefly, when it touches your line, it um, it does have trouble sometimes. Mm -hmm. So let's try and do it as much without touching. How did he do all those thin lines, Mr. Man says? <laughs> I don't know. He's in the chat. He should be able to help you out there. I think you can still die on those things. Mm. Ah. Whoa. Where's the center of it? Oh, oh my god. Okay. Let's get in here. Just a little bit more. Ooh, 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 ooh that would have been good. Oh. oh! Oh no, he's trapped, but not trapped. Well, Where is he? Oh, he's escaped! <laughs> <laughs> Get back here. Oh, all these terrible lines I've made. Where is he? Uh, oh. oh, you can die on him! I think you have to hit the original dotted like line. One dot? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, there we go. 93. Hooray! So, super fun. It's coming Ooh. along really, really well. Uh, it looks really nice in this high res 320 mode. Mm -hmm. Looks great. It does. Yeah, really, really so good. Good job, Pat. Awesome, awesome work. Mm -hmm. Looking forward to playing it on the show again. Yes. At a later date. Yes. Uh, so, the 70. 110%. Yes. 110%. <laughs> so, the 7800 is going to be off for a little bit. Well, we do two 2600 versions of Wordle, and then we're going to go back to the 7800 for the last version of Wordle. Yes. Um, so let me get everything switched over to the 2600. Ow! Did you just get zapped? Yes, I did. Ooh. Hopefully that didn't destroy anything. Zappity zap zaps. Ooh, what is that noise? <laughs> something, something was Ready. terrible. Yeah. <laughs> something was very something upset. Shorted, shorted there. Okay. Let's fix this. Did everybody hear that noise? Thank you for waking me up, James. <laughs> Did that go through the system? Did you guys hear that too? That really high pitched. Uh, yeah, I don't know if squeal? it was just us hearing it or. Um, anyway, okay. Zaps and eardrum killer. <laughs> yeah. Yes, we did. A oh, cardboard box. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, it, it zapped me. Okay, so um, the bratwurst gets to sit on the Atari. <laughs> yes. Yes, sir. Oh. Yay! Thank you, thank ground, you ground trooper. trooper. So Wordle. Let's learn about Wordle. Mm. So um, how many? How long have you been subscribed for? 40 months. 40 <gasps> months. Wow. Doesn't even make sense. That's hardcore. Yeah. Thank uh, you. Yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs> um, Wordle is a web-based word game created and developed by Welsh software engineer Josh Wardle and owned and published by the New York Times uh, company since 2022. Players have six attempts to guess a five-letter word with mm -hmm. feedback given for each guess in the form of colored tiles indicating when letters match or occupy the correct position. Mm. The mechanics are nearly identical to the 1955 pen and paper game Giotto. So load it up. What am I loading up? Uh, you are loading up word guess first. So word guess uh, is by Anthony Blackman, uh, who is a cardboard box. He's literally a cardboard box. <laughs> literally. Uh, he's in the chat. Beautiful title screen. I love the um, shaded word guess 
Mm -hmm. Changes hues. That is very nice. Um, gives you very, very distinct instructions <laughs> to press fire. So you got zero wins, zero plays, best of zero, version one point. Go for it. Very nice. Okay. So those are the five letters. Okay. Um, you change them by pressing up and down and left and right. Oh, I see. So just whatever. To, so you have to make a valid word. You can't just throw um, letters at the screen. Is it always five? It's always five. Okay. This is on the 2600. Yes, that is correct. Um, so this is a 32K game. This build is from yesterday. He first posted uh, the thread in February 11th, 2022. So, green means you got it in the right spot with the right letter. So it starts with an H. S, uh, the other color. Okay. The off green mustard color. Yeah. Uh, means you got the right letter, but in the wrong spot. Oh, okay. So that is that is yellow because it looks very close to the green on our screen. But yeah, yeah you're right. It is it is a different color. Mustard oh, okay. Um, that does not preclude having two S's in the, in the word. Okay. Um, it also, I think, doesn't preclude having two H's in the word either. Fancy opening. Yeah, it looks unnatural for 2600. It's very, very nice. Um, I doubt it has two S's or two H's, just saying. Oh, it's yes, a possibility. but it could. It is a possibility. Yeah. Uh, yes, it's super fancy. Like, it's scrolling through the, through the letters. Mm -hmm. Looks really nice. Mm -hmm. What do people want me to guess? Uh, uh... Ha-ha's? Ha-ha's. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not correct. The mustard is close to the green on the screen, too. It, it, it's, we yeah. We see exactly what they do. Yeah. What do people it, want me to guess? It could be more yellow, maybe. Um, it's good to choose no other e, vowels. Interesting. No like, E. So I could pick a U or... Yep. Or an A. Uh, um, or how about... A is not bad. I, I agree. The vowels... Home? No, there's no E. No, no. Uh, there's no E, which house. is like house. House? There no, we go. there's no E. It does. It does matter because the no. S will be in a different spot. Which but the more... E, there is no E. It it's would fine. be yellow. You can still guess it. You can still guess it too. No, no, try... no, no. You don't do that. <laughs> what are you talking about? She is refusing to <laughs> to reuse. Refusing to participate. Re refusing to <laughs> reuse bad letters. <laughs> Nice background tune. Yeah, very good background tune. Uh, I will, I will pick house. We'll see what uh, comes up. I will pick what? house. I will go How with, I will go with the house. crowd. I will go with the crowd, even though it goes against my instinct to not use the E because we know there's no E. But, uh, that might still be the best way to guess other letters. Yes. Yes. The guess has to be a real word. Okay. It draws from a. Okay. S is moving. Oh, so you know where the S is. It's definitely not HS something. No. You're right. Oh, you can hold up or down to scroll faster. That's much better. It's also easier if you remember your alphabet. Uh, there's a U, so not likely to be... H-U-S? Well, H-U-S? I don't know. Hus? No, probably not. Probably H This H has something. to be a vowel. So it's not an I, O, or E. It, the U could be there. Uh, it could be. Who's Husky RC70? Husky? Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. In the original world, there's a whisk list of. I don't want a Windows update now. Another time. <laughs> yes. So. Doesn't I'm... Husky have a? H U S K Y. It's Instructions. Not... The computer secretly picks a yeah. word. You have yeah. six guesses to find the secret word. H U S K Y. Oh, okay. No, I was like, I thought it had an E Y, but no, you're right. And if you see little weirdnesses on the screen, that's my 2600. Hey! Got it in RSC70's been playing. It starts with hives. Hmm. Hives, eh? That was my first guess the oh, last okay. round. Um. Uh, left, right, select a tile, up, down, change the letter, press fire, make a guess, hold the fire, move left and right. We can swap letters. So if you hold the button, you can move letters around. Uh, 
Uh, reset selected letter tile to A. Uh, a select goes back to A, and reset goes back to the title screen. Yeah, it's a very good game. Guessing in three is very good. Is it? A Q? Oh my god. Well, I want, I'm allowed to pick whatever I want. If I want to Quota. pick a Q, quota or quote, I was going to put. But... Yep, both are good. T. We got a T. We got, got a T. a T. Shall we start with a T and see how that goes? Yes. You can move the T over. Try I'm, to do that. I, 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 I do not know my alphabet. I don't know what's wrong with no, my brain. Try and move it. Try and move it. You can move it? Yeah, hold down the button and move it over and let go. Oh! Did you press it again? Or you just let go? I let go. But it's letting me pick. What? Did that count as a... As a no, it, it didn't move down, so that's fine. Well, it wasn't a word. But Oh, I see. No, I, that might have been my mistake. Yeah. I thought I had to press it again. No, no, no. no. Just move it. Hold fire, move it, release fire. Trout! No, you already got O and U. I probably shouldn't pick him. It could I was be trust. Say trust, but that would be two T's. And you've already picked U, so this is probably a very poor. It's a very poor choice. Trail! The crowd says trail! Okay, trail! We'll go with. Yeah, it's, it's the RGB mod that. that makes my little. Good, good, weirdness. good choice, because there are a couple of them. So, we're in normal mode, and uh, there's also hard mode. On hard mode, guesses must agree with the colors of the previous guesses. Wow, that's good. The A is where it's supposed to be. The T is not. So I doubt it's RT. So if, if I hold it... it... And move it, and then let go, it'll move it. Okay. Hold it. No, I'm thinking. Give okay. me a second. Uh, player 2 difficulty. Change how each guess is initialized. Right uses previous guess. Left equals A, 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 A. Yeah, that'd be more annoying. So this is a good, good spot to keep it on. Color switch toggles music on and off. Let's see. Oh, right. smart is a good one. Thank you. Very good one. You hold it. Move it and then let it go. Okay. There you go. Yeah, you must have pressed it. I did. Rather, I rather did. Than, like, let it go and yeah. press it. It helps when you're playing the game and you have like a, I don't know how many people are watching right now helping you. A whole bunch of people. Oh. oh. Start. Could be start. <laughs> That's about it. <laughs> Spart. Uh. Start makes the most sense to me. Shart. Yep. Farts. Yeah. <laughs> Shart. I, I think it's shart. Who wants me to put shart in and see it, if it... It'll just buzz. You should. You should do it. I want to see if it'll accept it. No way it's accepting it. <laughs> no. I, I, I think we're on... Scart. It could be a geeky version. Yeah. Um, <laughs> if you have a save key, the game will keep track of the number of words won, mm -hmm. number of words played, current streak, and best streak. And we do have the Atari box plugin. So it will keep track of our games. Um, so this was the third game to be made. Of, okay. Of the Wordles for 2678. Um, this happens a lot with Wordle. I've had Quirtle puzzles busted because I've had too many guesses with four matches. So I'm going to tell you some statistics about Wordle. Okay. Keep playing. I'm thinking. Yeah, okay. I'm just picking my next one. Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, guess where the best country in the world is at Wordle. This is the English version. The English? English version of Wordle. And they keep track of where people are playing from. Yeah. Yeah, 999 followers. We just need one more follower. Everybody watches already follows. Um, the best um, players in the world are not a primarily English-speaking country. Really? Yes. It's Sweden. Oh! It's the best in the world at Wordle. Huh. Then it's Switzerland. Then it's Poland. And then a uh, primarily English-speaking country uh, finally comes in, Australia. Mm. And Belgium are tied. 
Um, and the average, uh, the average words having to pick is 3.72 for Sweden. So it's almost four words okay. every time, like that's their average. And then Australia's at 3.8. Then Finland, 3.81. And then tied for seventh, Brazil, Denmark, is South Africa at 3.83. Israel at 3.84. Hmm. Um, Can Canada... The Canadians are in 17th place. 17th. Hmm. And this is out of the whole world. Really? This is for the English speaking, English word language of yeah. Wordle. And just beyond Canada in 18th place is the US uh, with 3.92. So we've got trunk and clump. Trunk? Clump. Well, clump would be better because we the, the T, so let's try clump. Yes. I was like, what words clump have you better. in the middle? And all of a sudden your brain just goes, I, <laughs> just I stops don't working. Know. I don't know what words have you. Also, you're talking, so I'm trying to yeah. listen to you, so it makes it <laughs> You don't have to listen to me. <laughs> no, no, I'm trying, I'm trying. Saying it for the... All right. I think that's a good guess. Nice. Good. All right, we've got the L. Um, I mean, you don't have to put U. We're not in hard mode. This is easy mode. You can put any word and then get more letters. Oh, I know, I know, yeah. but yeah, I know, I understand. So, uh, the best city in the world at playing L -O -E -L -E. at playing Wordle is Canberra, Australia. Oh. Best city in the world. That's cool. The best city in the U.S. is St. Paul, Minnesota. Mm. And the best city in the U.S. is better than the best city. Oh, that doesn't make any sense. How do they beat out here? Laugh? Oh, that's a good one. That is perfect. Laugh? Yep. Yes, that does. Okay, let's try laugh. I was trying to remember if uvula is, is four letters, but I might be making it more complicated than it needs to be. Yeah, it is. That would be funny if that was the answer. <laughs> um, it could be. So just for statistics, over 300,000 people play World on January 2nd, 2022, up from 90 players on November That's 1st. Of my brain. I'm listening to you and I'm trying to go And you're talking off. over me too. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So it doesn't work for anyone. No. Uh, and then a week later, it went up from 300,000 to 2 million. And then... Um, between January 1st and 13th, 1.2 million Wordle results were shared on Twitter. Uh-huh. Everybody's sharing this everywhere. It's it's crazy. Full of public servants, Canberra. Mm -hmm. ah. Is there an Easter egg if you enter James, Tanya, Darcy, or Atari? Oh. Mm -hmm. I'll have to try that. Have you, uh... Because it shouldn't accept um, any of those. Because I, I read in the forums... Atari is not part of any of the dictionaries. I don't know. We'll put in uh, James, Tanya, Darcy, and Atari. <laughs> no, well, we can, but... Uh... Remember, Atari being a legal word in the hangman of 2600. Oh, I would hope so, yeah. Plenty of word all shared on Facebook. Oh, it's just oh, constant. No. Now you can share uh, your Atari 2600 or 7800 Wordle results. You can take a picture and share it in the forums. <laughs> Except this doesn't block it out. And, and the way Wordle works is it only gives one word a day. Yeah. So everybody in the world works on the same fault. Fault. Ooh, Ooh. yes. Oh, no, there's no T, but... It'll help. And there's no A. That doesn't work either. Can you try James, Tanya, Darcy, <laughs> We will do that after. I want to finish this one first. Okay. No, no tea, you know. Mm. Um, it's when the, it's gotta be, it could be a Q U, but the U's in the middle. When you reach your best streak, your streak turns yellow gold. Blues. Oh no. No, no blues. Blues. No. No. L's not no the L. Two. It's not number two though. Okay, gotta take some hints from the crowd. I am looking at it. Blue skull. 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 You're not doing any of these. Skull. No. Uh. Yeah. Skull. Let's two try more skull. Of these to play. Well, will you just tell me when we're flipping. <laughs> you, if you have a suggestion, you can always throw it. No, in I'm there. reading stats. 
build. I like skull. Ooh, that's a good one. Yeah, skull. I'm gonna try skull. I like skull. But okay. we'll try build if uh, skull doesn't work. Whoa! Yeah, who called that? Nostalgic! Nostalgic one. Wow, good okay. stuff. So put... I wouldn't put any James. Tanya, Darcy, or Atari. I no. doubt they thought of that. Okay, we're gonna go into this next one. Okay, next next version. Very good implementation. I like the background music. At R E X plus. Ready. <laughs> gonna have to start shipping people my keychains if they keep getting these right. Yeah. You got the joystick. Load her up. Sorry, this is the twenty six hundred yes. words. It's twenty six hundred words. Nice was made by I'm gonna load that up Carl G Yay First posted February 10th 2022 uh, This builds from today March 8th He just nice. posted it today It's a 64k game Other games that Carl G has made 2600 words Cannons Cosmic Cabby Toy Shop Terminator mm -hmm. Space Game Penult RC Somobots Raindrops Robot Tag Space Debris Space Venture and Witch's Tower um so go for it okay so there's nice little sequential title screen. play and random i'm guessing does it matter which one i pick to random maybe? us it won't matter too much i would do random gives an option of doing the same word twice so i would oh, do sequential okay because we don't know what they are anyway so. what was the third option oh uh, that's just stats it says game oh, stats go to that you so, suck no. three <laughs> games played i don't remember i guess i didn't finish them just testing it out. Mm. Zero one, zero current streak, max streak zero, guest distribution one nice. Very nice stats. Neat. Let's try sequential end. Yes. So okay. this one's very different. It has all the letters all on the screen, which is super, super handy. And non flickering as well. Joust. So it's you can see at a glance mm. which letters you haven't used yet. Um, and he says, after seeing M.K. Smith's oh, cool port nice. of Wordle for the 7800, I thought I'd try my hand at making my own version. So he, his was the second version. Uh, this version is fairly complete and playable. I mean, that was old. Instructions. You're attempting to, get, to guess a five-letter word. Blah, blah, blah. We know that. Uh, a letter that is the word to be guessed in is the right position will be colored green. Letter that is the word but in a different wrong position will be colored orange. A, a letter that is not in the word at all will be colored gray. So sequential play, save key only, play through the 2600 play dictionary words in order and record stats for each game. Random play, play a random word from the play dictionary. Stats are not recorded in this mode. Uh, switches, left switch, uh, A, no sound effects. So we have it on sound effects. Right switch, A, hard mode, must use previously found letters and guesses. Ooh, doing well. O, R, and S. Cool. Let's see. R U S. What will go after the R? Uh, R T S. Horns. Horns. Does work. Yep. Yeah, the T's out. Yeah. This version reminds me of Pit Cat. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> it does actually. <laughs> Fancy statistics screens. Yep. Uh, both of these can be downloaded from Atari Age. Yes. Mm -hmm. Only the first one, the Kicks, is not available yet. Oh, not horns. Oh. oh, that just suddenly turned blue. What is going on there? That's weird. Is the second S in soaps not fully green for you? It's it's blue, blue, blue. It's blue. In the, but in soaps, that S is... I guess it would be gray. Yeah, that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, because the other uh, one's in the right spot. Worms? Mm, so something. So. Worms? 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 Yeah, yeah, that, that would work. work. Yeah. Oh, um, it's going to post uh, kicks after the show. Yay. That is weird. That is super weird that it's blue. Oh, it changed color. And now so it's, it's not the W. And now it's orange. It should Dorms? Be, it should be green. Dorms? Borms? Lorms? <laughs> Corms? Dorms? Yeah, it's probably dorms. I can't think of... Uh, Gorms? Worms? No, it's got to be dorms. Oh, it's not. What? Forms. Oh, we didn't see that. That's all I do at work is filling forms all day. <laughs> you would think forms. that would be right on the top of my head. Yeah. 
That's a color I use in colorblind mode. Not sure how that happened. Interesting. Mm, and it's flipped. Oh, it went red. Uh, Weird. Oh, okay, it doesn't going. like that O. So 64K EF, 16 4K banks to work with. Game logic is one bank, 4K. Play dictionary, two banks, 8K. At five bits per letter for storage, how about... Would be about 2,600 words for the play dictionary. How cool is that? So he's included 2,600 words in the dictionary. <laughs> Go for toads. Oh, oh, it's Damn, the so TO good. is good. Um... Uh, <laughs> I'm thinking topaz, but no. Token. What do you... The A. Uh, token. Token, yeah. Okay, token. Nope. Oh, no fail. E. At least we know there's tonic. E. Tonic. No, uh, no, the end is oh, not there. Well, he said that before. Oh, I see. You chose um, it. Um, there's no A. There's definitely no a weird e. bug. Yeah, that e is a weird bug. I. Especially it's changing color. Not that it's. It should be like either constant, and it's only on one line. That was super weird. We'll see if it does it again. The official Scrabble dictionary has 12,972 five letter words. Mm. Um, topic. Yeah, let's try topic. That sounds like a good choice. Topaz. No. Oh, no, no way. No, Topaz would no have been way. cool. Nope. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, torch. Someone suggested that oh, might work. That just got eliminated. With the C on the last guess. Oh. Good guess. U-G-H, mm. tough. Oh. Oh, that's a good one. I bet it's good. Did you guess that one? Nice. That one. Woo! Du, 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 du. <laughs> Look at them all flashing. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. Very good. Um, so there was some discussion in the forum when he was posting this on the best way to store and search the words. Okay. And Thomas Yench said, I did just did a course math based on 2,315 Wordle words. Unfortunately, the gain from the Huffman compression is not very impressive. Mm. Uh, it only saves about 13%. Um, but he said, if we store the words in alphabetical order, for each consecutive word, the number of identical first letters, 0 through 4, could be stored. Example, a back, a base, a bait, a abbey. These words would be encoded as a back, then three S E, three T E, two B E Y. It doesn't like fire side. Oh, at all. <laughs> Did I just see tough flash and red at the bottom of the screen before they entered it? Oh. oh, you might have. Right at the beginning it flashed. Really? Yes. I you'll have to go back to the, the footage of that. Something did when? flash up. When? Right when it what not this term, but the term before I remember seeing something flash at the bottom. Did it flash this time or before? Hmm. I remember seeing something flash really qu quickly when I started the game. Hmm. Hmm. Anyway, I need another word. Um, <laughs> um, no S. Definitely. Andrew Davey wrote in the forum thread, I wrote the code for the compress that compressed the word dictionary for the NES game Wheel of Fortune hmm. many years back. I didn't know much about encoding back then, so I created a weird sort of encoding system that describes words as sort of a mini program. These days, I guess I classified as a variant variant of the Huffman, although it was in, implemented in a higher level human readable format. So uh, some notes with 2,600 play words, a new game could be played every day for over seven years before running out. Mm -hmm. So this will keep you busy for seven years if you only play one game, one, one word a day. Waned. Waned? We have to we'll give that a try. W A N E D. Yeah, Ooh, I don't that's have, a good one. Yeah, I don't have the. Uh, you can see some of the um, uh, color timing due to my RGB mod on the K. Whoa! Whoa! RC70! From two letters. Whoa! Very nice. Okay, we'll watch for the flashing. Oh, it's repeatedly flashing. Was it flashing at the bottom? Carl, is it Carl G's game? No. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So um, was the answer repeatedly flashing? I just saw the word flash again. Because the word is at the bottom. It is. Okay, let's try this again. Everyone stare intensely <laughs> at the bottom of the screen. When you enter a word? I don't know. 
Oh, it oh. did. It just flashed something. Oh. Fresh. <gasps> it said Is fresh? It fresh? Did you it catch in. it? Yep. Uh-oh. Oh, no. It's That's okay. <laughs> it's, it's, it's giving you hints if you're fast enough. Oh, it just flashed again. Did it? Yeah, oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Well, um we'll have to blank it yeah, out. Yeah, Carl G's <laughs> It's probably gonna have to figure out what that what happened there. <laughs> um it's fight it's club. <laughs> it was literally one frame, I think. That's okay. It it's, was it was very, very, very fast. It looks like a single Beta frame. Beta testing, exactly. A single frame. Yeah, okay. that's okay. Okay, play it again. Okay. Uh, this is the new easy mode. It's testing how good your eyesight is. Yeah, it is. <laughs> okay, don't look at the bottom. Don't don't even look at it. It flashes so quick. Okay, don't put anything in yet. No. Um, there were some cute computer simulations run. Okay. And they were determining the best words to put in oh, to start course. Wordle. That's cheating. It is. Yeah. Um, so from a YouTube channel, three blue, one brown, mm -hmm. it used a computer to analyze every single word <laughs> in the usable dictionary. Mm -hmm. And uh, the best word to start with, according to them, is crane. Rain. Yep. So yeah, type, I could see put that. It in. Oh okay. my God, it's flashing. That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> I, we won't. We won't. I'll just. I can't it. look away from the bottom of the screen <laughs> now. I can't. <laughs> I cannot stop myself. Oh, I think oh. I. Oh. And then it says use the word slipped. S L I P T. Because they're completely different sets of words but the su super common letters right oh, yeah failed. no <laughs> you see that here's the thing there it doesn't are some, always work it's there are some the words that are made up of completely uncommon letters yeah. tough that's why i thought of tough i don't know why but i've played games like this before and o u g h mm. is a series of not so common letters so yes. if you're having trouble with the common oh, letters yeah, yeah, yeah. o u g h often is is in there right Mm -hmm. But um, so I don't know why tough jumped to my mind, but I'm like, oh, I bet that's what it is. Because the O and the U are less common than A and E. A and E and S is almost always in there, and and G and H. I mean, H is often with T and S. Another, but another good one. G is not that common. Oh. In the middle of a word. Um. Horta, the D train. <laughs> horta. Horta. Best word to start is horta. <laughs> Uh, sure, it's got some... I mean, H isn't super common, but... Uh, Personally, I just like to take to find the weirdest word to put in first, <laughs> just to see what happens, okay. but... keep on going. So, we've got uh, an R. Um, we have to use a C somewhere. I'm trying not to look at that word. Yeah. Uh, I would say brace... But E, no, E can't be at the last. So it's, E is probably sec. Oh my goodness. In the Wheel of Fortune, you get R, S, T, L, N, and E for free in the final puzzle. When I started playing, I used stare or stale. Oh, oh there's no way. Now I use a rise as my opener. I rate three vowels and two common letters. Those are all very good ones. Some other ones that people have come up with. Another computer came up with crate, which is crate. only one letter off of crane. Yeah. So I'm guessing it's just as good. Yeah. Um, somebody uh, analyzed all the guesses that people have put in, like humans. And mm. tails is the most common starting word for the best average score from humans playing it see that just seems i don't like it when you start breaking it down to all this kind of this like oh well you know technically Look at that, l. that l is a different color than the r it, it changed color it does it, it different colors uh will pop through mm. um the worst words okay which is more interesting because it doesn't help you at all the worst words ever to start with okay is mummy that's three m's totally useless and a y and a u very uncommon mm -hmm. shush 
two two repeated. Yeah, you don't want repeats and a of useless letters. Useless you. Yeah. And a yummy. A w two Y's and two M's and a U. Mm -hmm. So U is obviously the worst vowel. And M's yeah. and Y's and yeah. Oh, it's cycling. Uh, and I think they did that on Wheel of Fortune because everybody would guess R S T L N E. Yeah. Every time. So they're like, what well, let's just give it to them. Yeah. And make the the puzzles harder. Yeah, it's like color cycling through the L. That's interesting. Uh, so nobody's guessing anymore because mm. everybody can see it and they can't look away. Yeah. Nobody's helping. Uh, no, because it's, yeah, it's unfortunately. Mm. So that, what is that L? Is that a correct one? No, it's, it's nothing. It's nothing? It's nothing. Oh, okay. So it was all, mm. all gray? Mm. I've encountered one word with three okay. of one letter and a Y. It wasn't mummy. It wasn't mm. mummy. I got puppy once. Wow. Mm. Oh, oh, it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would say wrote. I mean, it uses the T again, but it uh, has a W and... Something, what come... What, not wrote, what? E is the wrong spot. Um, something R, so what would be ahead of the R? Pick something. W, R... No. Erase. I don't know. I would just just pick some words. Mm, nobody's helping anymore. <laughs> I saw the word, so I'm figuratively. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So everybody sees the word. Yeah, that's the problem. Oh. Boo. <laughs> Maybe we can, um, let's go to the different palette. We have to restart it. Yeah. It's okay. Again. There. Now, hope, this is on the um, colorblind friendly palette. Okay. Oh, it's still flashing. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we're ever going to get rid of that. Okay. We will, I think, have to move on to the next I one. I think so. It's, 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 it's nobody's yeah. helping. Yeah. Unfortunately. Yeah. Okay. So let's move on to the 7,800 game, which is time to put duct tape on the bottom of your screen. Right. Just get the black electrical tape. So, so, you know, it blends in. It's like, um, what was that? What was that sketch or something where that's how they, if, if you have problems with the VCR um, flashing. You just put black black <laughs> electrical tape on it. If, that was if, a sketch. I, I, it was in a movie or something. I can't even remember what the reference is, but that that was the joke. You just if if the time's not right, you just put black electrical tape on uh, it. Oh, switch over. Oh, oh wait, 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 wait. Have to change cartridges. There we go. Okay. This one is Wordle. Look at all these By different Chunky versions. Pixel I Games. love it. It's awesome. Mm -hmm. um, so this one is uh, by uh, Matt Smith, M.K. Smith. Okay. Uh, Mike Sarna did the di Dictionary Randomizer Selection Code. Yeah. It's Revenge. Uh, this was first posted February 2nd, 2022. They were the first out of the gate in mm. terms of 2600. 7800 is pretty much on every console now. Um, it's 128K. Mm. Um, so let's go to the statistics. No. Oh. Sorry, not the right one. Nope. <laughs> there you go. Oh, sorry. That's my fault. Go to statistics. So this says how many games you played, how many have won, your streak distribution and you can reset it right from here oh it is no storage that's okay we won't use storage yeah um how to play guess the wordle in six tries after each guess the color of the tiles will change to show how 
close your guess was to the word. Excellent. Easy, easy. And settings. Hard mode? No. Hard mode's hard. What's hard mode? Hard mode means if you get the letter in the right spot, you have to put that letter in every word going forward. You can't just guess any word. I, I'm fine with that, I but know. that's okay. I know that's how you play. <laughs> I kind of feel like you're not... No, um, no. I think any word allows it opens it up to the whole dictionary not just the wordle set of words oh so it could be because in these games there's two sets of words yeah one the words that are part of the game and the ones you and the full pick. dictionary because if you pick a word that's just nonsense like a bunch of a's it will yeah. go and eh, that's not a word okay but you can pick a word that's a word that's not even in the wordle list so there's two thousand something in the wordle list but there's and a word list, 000. but if it says any word, it, it's still picking its words from the word list. It's just you can choose any word. Is yeah. that what you're saying? Okay. You can put anything. Yeah. Woo. Oh, any word. It is anything. Oh, it opens up the, anything. Oh, that seems like cheating. That's uh, pretty. A, 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 B, 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 B. Yeah. No, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably um, not even useful. No. Uh, we'll keep hard mode to know then, just yeah. to keep it the way we've been playing it. Yeah. And okay, um, there's a QWERTY keyboard. Everyone's a little different. Everyone's just a little uh, yeah. different. Yeah. Uh, and the second button erases a, a oh. word, a letter. So that's handy. Um, let's pick uh, something really silly. The game consists of two thousand three hundred fifteen wordles and. The 10,657 allowed entry dictionaries from the original. Playing the game, use the keyboard, uh, use the joystick paddles. Oh. Oh. Or keypad, which we're going to try in a bit. To move the cursor to select the letters from the on screen keyboard and press the left fire button to add your letter to the active word. Once you've entered the five letters, select the tick function from the keyboard and press the left fire button to validate. This is going to be a terrible Dirty. word. Well, got yeah, one got in the right spot, too. To remove the letter, select the delete function on the keyboard or press the left fire button or the right fire... And press the left fire button or press the right fire button. The on-screen keyboard keeps track of the letters in the correct spot. Green or incorrect spot, brown. And not in the word, gray. Hmm. Uh, silly. Nope, that's not right because there's not a Y. Vodka. I think RC70 keeps guessing vodka <laughs> every single time. Vodka. Does he? Vodka. <laughs> I think vodka has been in the news too much and it's on his brain. <laughs> or maybe there is vodka in his brain. Well, I have limes <laughs> on my brain. So there you go. Oh my God. Oh, wow. That was a good choice. Uh, like, liked could be. Uh... The last game released to feature um, keyboard controls was Tapamole. I believe. I don't remember playing other any other game. Not Tap them all? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's the last game on the 2600. On the 7800, I don't think there's ever been a game that has used the keyboard control. Mm. This is probably the first ever game to use keyboard controls. Which is which is something to say something, yeah. Muddy Funster uh, suggested that one. Ah, very cool. Silly. So we can look at those alternatives in a bit. Uh, the thanks are to Mike Revenge for the Dictionary Randomizer Selection Code and to Lewis, Muddy Funster, and Bobby Sinfapalooza <laughs> for the additional control suggestions. Nope. There's some nice coding challenges in this one. Um, MK Smith said. Oh, one second. The under the hood code has once again come to the fore with this project. Having each letter uh, in the on keyboard a different color was an interesting challenge to sort out. The palette commands update the right item in the zone to the required color. The keyboard is drawn with plot map with individual rows stored in RAM. Flipping the tiles for a validated word replaces the image and palette in the UTH commands. The words themselves are just a string stored in RAM and drawn to the screen. When you enter with as many controllers as the Arcanoid supports, maybe keyboard could be added. <laughs> yes, why not? Of course, it's, it's a digital control. Um, when you enter an incorrect, in, invalid word, the line shakes. Oh, you 
try that. Try and type in some garbage. L I B B B B. There you go. Enter that in. Cool. Shiga shiga shiga. I like that. <laughs> I like that a lot. You could make it like drop all the letters. Shiga shiga shake, and they all drop, <laughs> drop down, punishing you. Uh, mm, mm. What is that last letter? I feel like that's the key. It's not an N. E uh, something. Nobody's guessing uh, anyone anyone libel that's a good libel. one yeah i like that i was trying to figure out because once you figure out that last letter i think it gives it away i'm like it's not an s not an n yes. yay Splendid. thank you a cardboard box and i believe it gives you a different rating carl g I'm still hoping for light gun support. Yeah, that was in the forum. Oh. That was very, very funny. Splendid. Because you could yeah. have a light gun. I like that. It might be very hard, hard to aim at those. <laughs> I think if you... You'd have to make it bigger, I think. level you get is a different response at the bottom. I bet it says lucky for the first one. But I don't know if anybody's got the guess in the mm -hmm. first one. So, play two, one, one, current streak, one, max one. You got it in four. Okay. So... Play it again. Yeah. And then we'll switch to alternate input Now, methods. vodka. I like the little touches. The shakes and the animation. Vodka's probably not the best guess. I, I don't care about good guesses or very bad guesses. poor letters. K. The K wow. of all those letters. Would you have thought the K? No. In the right spot, too. Um, uh, CK, maybe. K-E. Lucky. Lucky. Yep. It's valid. You you just said it as a word too, which would be hilarious if this I know. was. You, it just it kind of came out of your, your mouth. If you got it in one. Oh. No. Wow. wow. Okay. <laughs> mm. What would be between the U and the K? That's a hard one. What would be between a U and a K? Unky? <laughs> Unky? Unky? Runky? Punky? Could be punky. Gunky. Gunky. Ooh, that's better than Let's punky. Let's try gunky. It's better than punky, I think. Is that a word? <laughs> Murky. Oh my god. It could be punky. Is it punky? I will laugh if it's someone's a fan of Punky Brewster. These are like, I mean, punky is a word, I guess. Is it's there like another? Punk and punky and punks. Nope. Oh my god. What, 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 what? Funky. Funky, yes, that makes way more sense. Carl D. Husky. Yeah. Oh, before. I think uh, Carl's on a bit of a delay there. <laughs> there we go. Uh, five. Great. All right, it's great. Not it's splendid, not, just yeah, great. Just great. Toko. I was trying a light gun 10 liner. <laughs> Ooh. But the night gun is not detecting the beam from the CRT at a oh, distance no. of 30 centimeters. Nice. 30. Oh, a light gun 10 liner would be awesome. Okay. You want to play? Yep. Okay. Not that it's really a. Uh... Well, it's kind of a cooperative. Yeah. Okay. Cooperative game. We're going to put in Atari. Yep. I don't it's think gonna that's... shake. Oops. It's gonna shake because that's not part of the official word list. In the last game we played, I believe it is in. Oh, someone, someone. Because is because he put in twenty six hundred words rather oh, than two thousand two hundred. Okay. So we're gonna put in all our names. Oh, it is in there, and it's terrible. <laughs> uh. you gonna try mine uh well it repeats letters it does <laughs> i'm surprised it's in there I mean, two bad letters it repeats no oh, no these are not bonus no words pixel someone said oh, oh yeah it should be in there that's a actual word it word. is a word I mean, it's not that word. Oh, it wraps it... around. Good. Oh, well, well something. An I and an L. 
My game doesn't recognize Atari either. I'm just using the Scrabble dictionary. Yeah. So those are not in the right spot. Um, well, it's not going to be that bad. Live it. Oh, it isn't going to be that bad. Nope. Just yelling the honest. Uh, I thought of adding a nerd words mode. Yes. Yes, that would be very cool. Oh, geeky words. Yeah. Yes, cute cat. Um... Oh my god. Oh my Sing. god. It was so close. I was just like typing stuff in. Uh, Flint. Flint? Could be Flint. Flint. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, Can't think of any other things. Not off the top of my head. Yay! Yay. Great! Atari is a term and go. Yeah. But I guess it's not common enough because it's nope. a Japanese word. has been word. Added, added to the... Scrabble Dictionary. Nope. Okay, we're going to uh, plug in alternative input methods now. And they are... Let's do the um, paddles. Joystick on the left and paddles on the right. Mm -hmm. Let's see how it behaves. <laughs> you want to do the paddles? Yeah. Don't pull it out. Though. In like Flint. <laughs> so I'm guessing you have to start with the joystick. Move it. Yeah, start with the joystick. Okay. Says joystick at the bottom. Yeah, I don't think you. No, just um, start the game. Start the game. Yeah, but it says joystick. Do you have to switch that? I don't think so. Is it, it is say. it one of the settings? Uh. Oh no, we're in. Um, oh, press select button. Yes, you yeah. are correct. Press select. Thank you. And oh, me. joysticks. Oh, joystick and paddles. Oh, good night, the D train. <laughs> good night. Have a good uh, evening. Oh, oh, I can use this. Oh, nice. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, I like this. Are you looking? You're looking expectant. Oh, it's very, yeah. very sensitive. Oh my god. It's trick time. Yeah, oh. thank you, RC70. There's a very happy. Typer. Nope, not a real word. <laughs> Typer is not a real word. Treat? Oh, oh we're going to do tree. Yes, it's treat time. That Did you ring the letters. bell? I didn't hear it. Did no, you ring it? No, I didn't hear it at all. No, you're going to have to ring the bell. Treat? Ring, ring the bell. Let's see if Atari gets a treat. Oh, not bad. Got one. You don't wave your hand. You have to actually hit yes. it. There. He's distracted. He's very distracted. <laughs> He's very distracted. Ring the bell, You have to ring it. Have to ring it. Come on. Listen. Are you okay, kitty? There we, there go. we go. Good kitty. Good kitty. Mike Dean did slow down the paddles. Ah, uh, yes. It's crazy fast. <laughs> I don't know if you can slow down the paddles. I think it's going to the full extent. No, it doesn't go to the full extent of the paddles. It's like it's like a small portion of the paddles. I mean, it's very smooth. It doesn't jitter at all. Uh, Come so back, kitty. Come tea. back. Come back. Uh, Good kitty. There you go. A tango. Yeah? You going to have some more? Oh, oh my god, I gotta switch back. I put in tango. Like what 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 is it? <laughs> Tangy? 
could be. Try Tangy. That's the only other one I could think of. Oh, my God. That was so close. Oh, God. Yeah, it's too sensitive. Good kitty. It's very fast, which is good. But will I get it in three? <gasps> Tangy, impressive. impressive! There you go. The trooper paddle is a little less sensitive. I don't use it. I don't. I don't like the trooper paddle very much because mm. it's like inset. You have mm. to like not hit your fingers. Oh, it's not. Okay. Dead Ding. kitty. Should I throw it this way? Hmm. Uh. So we'll start off with. Um, treat again. It's Tanks. actually a no. <laughs> it's something's a bit better than treat. Like treat's close. Treat. Oh, um, like it, it's very good letters in it. Um, Maybe train. Mm. A I N. It's the okay. I, I don't like the okay. I very much. Just start. Ah. Mm -hmm. You got two there. Yep. Oop. How about... Oh, not bright. I already have an R. Um, uh, tanked? <laughs> tanked? Quite? If that's a word. You could try quite. Yeah. Yeah. So you try to go to Q. And he gets an E in there as yeah. well. What is tanked? What is that? Oh, well, we got the T in the and right the spot. The T is in the right spot. There is an I. Uh, yeah, and uh, not an E or an A or a, a U. No A. It's got to be an O. Another time apparently means 20 minutes later. Yeah, I know. Uh, there you go. Last treats. Good kitty. Good kitty. Thank you, RC70, yes, for feeding that very much. starving cat. Yes. So. For 5,000 uh, bits, is it? Bits. Yeah. You can feed a starving cat. <laughs> once an hour. Once an hour. If not more than once an hour. He does need more than that. No. No. Um, so the T, it's not a T E. So I would, I guess, a T S. Um, so something with an uh, I and a T S, yeah. uh, or it could be a TH, I guess, but, um, yes, TH with an I, no guesses from the crowd. Mm. Oh, we haven't used yet. Mince. mince, mince, yeah. Well, it's not mince, but uh, no. This, it, N has been guessed. Oh, but we'll get the uh, BS in there. See, I I prefer hard mode. I don't I I I don't like guessing. Well, this still would work in hard mode, because the T is in the same place. Well, you got the I in the right place. That's what I was thinking anyway. It's oh. not an S T H. So I'm something T H fifth. Fifth would actually work. Ah, ah. so sensitive. What do you think? Oh, oh my! What? <laughs> what? Is it Colin Firth? I don't know. <laughs> Firth. Firth. Uh, no. Uh. Filth. 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 Didn't you guess that? Me? UPS no. dirty. I, I I had dirty. So close. Filthy dirty. Nice. There Great. we go. Yeah, cardboard box chimed in with that too. Excellent. Yep. So yep, yep, yep. now we're gonna try it with the keyboard input, which I believe just emulates joystick directions. But we gotta do it. Uh, well, you got the option. Yeah. You gotta try it. Very nice. But I believe some of the keys automatically like enter. So you don't have to go to enter, which is kind of nice. Um, so. Very exciting. Go to exit.
<laughs> Nostalgic says, hey, save the dirty and filth for the after dark. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Hold that. Thank you. Plethora of controllers all over the place. Uh, that's par for the course. Yeah. Oh, I have to reset this back. Keypad. So can I go up and down? You no. should be able to go up and down. With what? With no. the numbers? No? No. No. Oh, what's going on? Oh, wrong one. Maybe I have to hit play first then. Yeah, maybe it only works inside. Yeah. So what, what, how does this work? Uh, I've got it in the menu instructions but try and start moving things uh two is up eight is down four is left six is right six is not right is the other one's working left is working yeah two is up well you're already at the top eight is down yeah nope oh my goodness fail no it's not working try um four is going left yeah, that's the only thing that's working. Yeah, the other ones aren't quite working. Oh maybe. no, none you of them. You could try the other setting, which is just the keypad, maybe. Yeah. See if that's working. But I believe that's in port one now. Is it? Okay, try now. Have no. to use those bottom ones to start. No. Nope. Okay. Nothing. We'll try it just in port one. Brutal with a light gun. Not the first person to suggest. Yes. <laughs> it's always missing. I think that's the only. Um, MK Smith says I think there might be a conflict with the joystick. Yes, just try, try just keypad. Okay. Yeah. So. Okay. Try now. There yeah. we go. Yeah. Up and down. And then what's? Uh, no. Nope. Enter is one of those bottom hashtags or number. There number. We go. Yeah. So, I mean, this is good for. Oh, this is nice. This is good. For instantly erasing and instantly entering, so it's a little bit faster for that, which is nice. Is this erase then? Uh, one of them is. Okay. <laughs> one of them's enter. You can try and entering. Oh, oh, one of them is. Let's see. Yeah. Oh no! You yeah, that's right. One of them isn't a race. One of them's enter. One is. Oh no! One of them's a race. That's not right. <laughs> it's. <laughs> between throat and a trout <laughs> a trout's throat a trout yeah paddles i I actually like the paddles a lot for input it's super super fast but it's if it's just slowed down just a little bit i think it would be great what throat? are you doing there's too many letters for throat no i'm not doing throat throw i don't know i'm just <laughs> Picking, throwing, throwing stuff out there and seeing what sticks. Well, try throw uh, then. If you're throwing stuff out there. Throw sounds good. Oh, he's in the right place. Uh, Should put a USB port on the cart so you can plug in a full keyboard. Oh, oh my goodness, that'd be quite, uh, quite something. <laughs> it's possible. I mean. Um, what's his name? It's going to be putting a RGB output on a, a cartridge. The hash and the stars just like the joypad buttons. Oh, okay. Trackball. Well, you could use trackball in a uh, joystick emulation mode. Yeah. But a trackball. Yeah, trackball support would be awesome. Actually, or would it? <laughs> as long as it's slow enough because trackball I find can be a little dodgy maybe it's just my trackball <laughs> slowing down the paddle input is tricky because it means devoting more cycles to reading them mm. I see I mean it's totally usable It. Uh, I got more used to it as time went on hi kitten settle settle uh, what do you think what do you think oh and an R I'm like oh R uh, favor Favor, See, we're, yes. We're Canadian. Yes. We would never think of favor because <laughs> it's too long. <laughs> but I am 100% guessing this is an American made game. Ah. So, favot. So, it'll be all American spellings. 
Is there CRT touchscreen technology? Yes, there is. Um, but I think it, you have to have an overlay for CRT technology, uh, touch screen technology. Um, trackball in real trackball mode. Yeah, that I that would be super super cool. I mean, you should put everything in there. All the light gun, the trackball. Yeah. Um, you got the mouse, you got the keyboard, you got the joystick. Should be the first game ever to have all inputs. Mm -hmm. That would be so amazing. What other ones are we missing? I think that's it. Power glove. Well, we have to limit it to uh, <laughs> yeah. DB9 compatible inputs. Joy board. I think that just uh, emulates uh, joystick movements. Uh, Floor? Yeah, maybe. Maybe oh, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, good call. Good call. Oh, a mouse. Is it compatible? Can you read the mouse on the 7800? Yeah, thank you, Atari nice. 2600, dude. Someone's been mind practicing. Link. Oh, mind link. I think you could only get left mind or right. Link. I'm thinking of floor. <laughs> thinking of floor. I don't think the mind link is that advanced. Nice, nice. Oh, it's just it's one. Oh. Oh, because I, I don't have... Reset it? I don't have it plugged in. I don't have it because we were doing double inputs. All inputs connected at once with a quad Tari. Yep. Uh, how do you want to go? Wanna no, go? I think we're done. I think we've yeah. exhausted uh, Wordle for the night. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we're going to move on to the last game. Yes. Of the show. Thank you for all the um, developers who like jumped yes. on that, by the way. All within all... like a week I or know. So. Everyone's like, Wordle, we can do this. Woohoo. Yeah. Um, so the last game of the night is Monster Maze by yeah. Bido Empire. And now, I don't know. I, you tell me if you think he made this game to mess with me. <laughs> I, know he I know he did it. I know why you're saying it. <laughs> I know he did it. But. I don't know. He knew you were going to play it. At some point, I'm sure. Uh, for sure. <laughs> Okay. It's got all the elements that I don't like in a game. <laughs> all of them. But I actually like this game, <laughs> even though it has all the elements that I don't like. It always already looks beautiful. So, oh yeah, you've got the... Uh, yeah, that's, that's not going to help. No, that's not going to work. Carl G. Guest. Oh, did he? Dark mazes. <laughs> yeah. And I think what makes this game not torturous with dark mazes is that it's, first of all, it's an overhead. Yeah. And it also has... You, you uh, can see immediately around you. It's not so dark that you have to, like, flash a light or anything yeah. like that. You see a bit around you. Yeah. And you also can see the enemies a little bit further away from yeah. your spotlight. It's almost like you can hear them, right? You can, can hear, hear them, them, or they glow a bit, or something. Yeah. It's it's Pac-Man in a dark maze. Okay. Like that would be if I had to describe it to somebody. Pac-Man in a dark maze. I think is the best because you're you're collecting dots. It's a maze. There are power-ups. Yeah. I'll show are you the, that the ones when I get in corners, trouble. Or? Yeah. They are light sticks. Oh, they give you more time. Um, what? The time nope. is counting down. They don't give you more time. What they do is light up the whole maze. I'll do it right now. And then you're invulnerable against one enemy. Oh. But it only lights it up for like a couple seconds. But it, it gets bigger. Do you see the one that you have? Your your circle is bigger. Oh, so bigger? when you get it, 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 it grows. Oh, it, it is bigger. It is bigger. So when you uh, hit one of the enemies, your circle got this small and that went oh back God. to zero. To oh, I didn't. You died. Yeah, I died. I pressed it too early or something. Oh, it is small. Yeah, you see? I, I think you died. I don't think you can cat. I don't think you can kill enemies. No, but I, I, I ran into one and it disappeared and I did not die. So you still have one to get? Did you not get all the... I didn't get all the dots. <gasps> Somewhere there's a dot that I need to get. Oh, no, I did get all the dots. Oh you got killed. I got killed. 
We have um, to go about the, the door at the bottom? Uh, almost. You have to find the key first. And the key is in one of the corners. There, I just got the key. Oh. I'm really slow. Yeah, oh. you really shouldn't um, use hit any of the enemies. I don't think you kill the enemies. I think they take away your life. Oh. I, you know what I mean? Like, I, I, it counts down, and when it counts down, your, your circle gets smaller. But if you hit an enemy, it also gets smaller. So... Mm. So I don't think you're meant to hit them. Well, I will read the instructions when I'm finished playing. Yeah. It looks great! Look yeah. at those with the... Yeah, your light goes bigger. It go, it's bigger, the and then when that, when that times out, it gets small again. So it, it, it almost restricts your time. These bats remind me of an old Commodore 64 game I used to play. Oh, really? Don't, I don't know why. I can Do hear you know the, what game? the song. Um, it was Mummy's something. I, we, we looked it up once. I, I, it's not Spelunker? No, it's like Tootin. Not Tootin Commons Revenge. But it's it was just one where it's like a maze and you collect keys and go into different rooms and then go up levels and there's yeah. bats and mummies. And, I'll have to submit um, that to the Reddit form tip of my joystick. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> it is on the tip of my joystick. You have to. In that I, form, I, I it's looked really it cool up and I found it, and uh, now I can't remember what it is again. So it's a great form. Mummy's Revenge. You, you, or you something. describe the game to people in yeah. the form, and, and they they guess what the game. Oh, is. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure. It's not like a quiz. It's like you generally don't remember what the game yeah. is. They have to help you out. Oh, this is cool though. I like now it. Find the key. The key. Is it always, always in the same corner? I think corner? it's always in a corner. Yeah. Graphics are really sharp. It looks really nice. Yes. Atari 2600, dude, says, reminds me of Dragon's Descent. Uh, yes, there's some Hello? elements where there you have to get a key, and you have to... Where's the thing? There it is. I and like it. It's different colors on the, each maze. And, you know, slightly different backgrounds. This one doesn't have the um, cemetery um, yep. tombstones. Yep. A little bit different each time. Where are the baddies? Hopefully, nowhere to be found. There is a timer, and yep. it's going down really fast. Oh, you do get more time. Yeah, that's oh. what I was saying. Like, I don't think... Oh! No, oh, they must all have been on one side. Yeah. Okay. Oh! Okay. So you want to kind of clean up the maze. Oh, it says then... one at the top there. You didn't get the, you didn't get the stick. Yeah, because it gives you... Oh, it just adds it more It just time. adds 20. So it doesn't matter when you get it. Are you back at level one? Don't know. There's, there's two guys on top of each other there, I think. Yeah, but these are the same bad guys. I mean, this is a very early work That's what progress. I mean. I think you've looped, looped back to level one. I think so. Cool. Realm of Impossibility. Yes. They were... Is, it has some elements of that in it. That's Realm amazing. of Impossibility. Mm, amazing I don't game. know that It's game. a three-quarter view game. Okay. Your character is so tiny in it, and the enemies are so tiny in it. Mm. It's it's a really, really well done game. Um, you have, like, scrolls, and you can lay down... Oh, there it is. This was the... Funky. Is it always in the same corner? So far it has been, but I know it's It not. might change up. I know it's not always in that corner. Uh, whoa, those come after you if you've taken too long. I don't yeah, know. they start coming out, and they're a little bit faster than the ants. The normal? But they're, oh, there we go. but they're not as fast as you. That's good. You can still get cornered. Oh, it, it still says, says one. one at the top. Okay, never just mind. Says one. But I think that's my lives. I, this is a repeat of the, the, la the level you were on before, though. Oh, okay. I think. I don't know if it's getting harder. But if you press the button, you can see everything. Oh. For a second. It just it just allows you to see it? Yeah. Oh, you just ran out. Oh, what? You can do it again. Oh. And then I can't. And my light is smaller. I think you now lose I'm... up your time. See? You went oh. to zero. So you, you really do lose a lot by doing that. Use your light and your time. Yeah. Maxwell Manor. Don't know that one. There are thousands of games made. I'm amazed I do know games that people say. Because there's so many games made in the 80s. 
I mean, there's obviously really, really popular games that almost everyone knows, but yeah. some of the more obscure ones, like you've never heard of the Realm of Impossibility. No. I, I thought it was one. obscure, but then I had, then I saw it all over the place, people mentioning it mm. a little while ago. And I was like, oh, I thought I only knew about this game. It actually was well, very well known. Yeah, it depends how... There's like always the really well-known games. Yeah. And then the slightly more obscure ones that just the casual gamers don't know right like yeah. but they're not actually that rare yeah uh, uh, get out of there Ugh. they're all like oh hovering around that hovering area hovering around the now they've gotten out of that area back to a long way around whoo careful <laughs> sometimes you gotta do that what does the countdown mean you're a light disappears uh yes after the countdown goes down so you have a bigger bigger area to see the bigger the number the bigger area you can see and then if you if you try to see the whole room it takes a chunk out of your time as well yes so I, so maybe it so there's an advantage but i swear you're invulnerable while the whole screen is lit up oh, 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 oh something was coming for you they're like you haven't gotten the key yet so where's the thing it's can down I... at the bottom oh there it's at the top oh god okay I'm gonna hand it off to you. Okay. I'll reset it. So that, uh, oh, I, I think I don't I, think it's getting harder, is it? No, it's not. It's just. I think it's it's flipping around on the same levels. So, Bido Empire uh, posted originally February 21st. This build is from two days ago, and he kind of uh, typed out a story to go along with this. Oh, nice. I've heard that a witch lives in those woods. Some say they've seen strange shapes moving amongst the graves at night. Some villagers swear they've heard strange noises coming out of that old abandoned castle at night. But they don't like to talk much about it. Superstitious old hicks. Who knows what's true and what's just a legend. But I'm not afraid. I inherited that old place from my great-grandfather and I'm moving in. No spooks or creeps are going to scare me away. One thing is for sure, though. It's dark out there. I better find a torch if I'm going to find my way. So those are torches. That makes sense. And they burn out. Uh, just a tease for now, but I'm sure by the time Halloween rolls around, something spooky will come this way. It's playable, and the light effect looks good, but the game itself is still in the very early stages and needs some TLC before I post a binary. I always remember a type-in game from Compute's Gazette called Castle Dungeon that had a concept of a maze where you can only see the immediate area immediately around you. And I thought it was really cool. The 7800 can do this justice, and after a nice long break, post Wizard's Dungeon, I thought it was finally time to do something about it. I came up with a way to do the maze drawing, and I thought, and I think it turned out quite nicely. I'll download OBS or something and post a video of it in action. Maybe once I get rid of the recycled Wizard's Dungeon art. So he is reusing some of the Wizard's Dungeon. Some of the art, yeah. Like the grave there. I believe is the same grave as Wizard's Dungeon. That makes sense, yeah. yeah. I think the trees and the gates definitely at the top and bottom. And the score things, maybe? Mm. Yeah. Uh, this has some effective use of sound, especially when you're not picking up dots. A few creepy tones now and then. Does it? Is there music playing? No, I don't think so. Nope. It's your brain. It's your brain filling in the blanks there. The nostalgic. Unless, unless it's really sparse. Um, no guarantees, though. I'm doing some early planning and designing for another game that's shaping up to be quite big. It might derail this project. Oh, yeah. No guarantees, though. I'm doing some early planning. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, I'm going to start shifting focus to another project for a bit, so I'm sharing a work-in-progress binary to play with. Only two levels. The enemy AI is very basic, but it gets the idea across. The mm. enemy is not bad. It does go after you. Yeah, it does. There are enough of them around that uh, you have to be careful. It boxes you in. Especially for the first two levels. It's not bad. Um, I hope to pick this back up again. We'll see. There are a lot of things I want to do with this game. I've got a tons of ideas. Basic rules. Collect all the gems in the level and a key will appear in the maze. When the key appears, a boss enemy also appears. This one, it's a mummy. Either witch or mummy. They're faster and more dangerous. Once you get the key, the castle gates will open. Go into the castle where the gates used to be to get to the next level. 
There are four torches in the corners of the maze. Each one lasts about 20 seconds. Pressing the fire button expand, expends your torch, but will show you the entire maze for a few seconds. Enemies wander the maze. If they touch you while you have a torch, your torch will be extinguished. But, oh my god. <laughs> you are fodder. Cool. Uh, but you will kill them and survive. If enemy touches you when you don't have a torch, you lose a life and you'll go back to the center of the maze. You have yeah. three lives. So, mm. right now we have a torch because it's above 16. I'm going to go try and find an enemy. Let's see if I can just run into them. Can you die? No. It's above zero. So, it should. Implication is that I have a torch. Yeah, see? It's above zero. Now I have a torch, but I only have 20 seconds. Oh, I, I could, see. should be able to touch that guy. Oh, and then you can you can get another one. But then ah. that counts down. And, so they're but like, your area is wider, too. That's neat. So they're like power pellets, but... Kind of. But, but then only, you, lose, you lose your area. Yeah, which is also not great. No. It makes it a lot harder without the area. Yeah, it does. But you can also use it. It's multi-purpose that you can press the button and see the whole thing at once. Um, yeah, but then you lose a bunch. Yeah, of you your lose time. twenty, I think. Yeah. So it's better to not use that. So, unless yeah. maybe once when you're like, oh, where's that last dot? Yeah. But it's nice you have a whole bunch of different options there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, lots of lots of different options. So I can see this I like that. getting um, harder with faster enemies and more complicated mazes like that are more one way oh i'm dead <laughs> sometimes you just get cornered yep you just you can't you can see what's going that. on you're almost done yeah now I, know, now I need a key could be in the corner i was just in no nope there's a baddie somewhere making noises oh there's the witch pretty fast great, pretty great witch oh it's two? two do they teleport no i think there, there might be, be more two. than one. Oh yeah there they are so you have to go back down to the bottom yep now that i've found the key oh there's still those guys uh, oh found another way you're lucky there's a lot of those guys around no Yay. very cool yeah so good start um to the game of monster maze very nice i'm um, looking forward to i guess more mazes more enemies yeah maybe make they start moving faster, moving faster. or more the times out faster or something variety of graphics yeah it's very cool though it's very um cool. and maybe he doesn't say what other ideas that he has for the game so we can just guess at this point. Um, I figured out what the sound I was heard earlier. The key pickup. Oh, oh okay. yes. Yeah. That's what it was. I don't mind the dot pickup noise, but I think everything could be maybe spookier noises. Oh, it needs something scary in the background. Like it more, more of a thumpy noise when you pick up the dots. Like, dun, 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 dun. <laughs> yeah, that'd be cool. And, and it could have a, like a soundtrack just like <laughs> James wants to compose the music. No, I don't. <laughs> just throwing out ideas. Oh, you just had enough no. to get that guy. Oh, well, that's okay. Ugh, they always like to hover around where their pellets do. I wonder if that's in their AI. I don't think so. I think it's random. Yeah. They do head pain. towards you. They when, do. When they see you, I or... I think you're right. Because they don't always head towards you. Yeah, that, that guy just moved away. Maybe if you're within their line of sight. Yeah, something like that. Because that, yeah, that guy went for you. They don't seem to be very good with corners. Nope, oh, oh. do that. One life left. Oh, you got the last pellet. I don't know. That's what that noise was. Yeah. Oh yeah, batteries are coming out. Nope, not that corner. Two baddies. Okay, two baddies. Not nope. that corner. Uh oh. Oh. I like that. Oh, oh god. Oh boy. These guys are fast. 
best. You better evade those guys. Oh, boy. Why are there three? <laughs> three. Taking too long. Whoa. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Go, go. Up. Ah, ha, ha. Corner. Run. Oh, oh, no. no. <laughs> oh, Cornered. killed by the zombies. Fodder. Ah, oh, nice. Good stuff. Nice. I like it. Very good start. <laughs> so that is it. You made it through all the games. Yes. Congratulations. And in just two hours. That's pretty good. Yeah. So, let's take a look at what's coming up on the show. Or oh, mummies. Sorry, did I say zombies? I meant mummies. Well, I they think share, I said zombies. They share a few uh, traits. Yeah, but and I... Traditionally, they lumber around. One is just wrapped in bandages. I think, my, I, think I thought mummies and... and, and said my, zombies. I said zombies, yeah. Both end in <laughs> ease. Yeah. Uh, so, we played Kicks today. Mm -hmm. Very fun. Good start. Um, Kicks is always fun. We played a bunch of uh, Wordle. Mm -hmm. Each of them had their own different input methods and different display methods and some in music. And it was a good variety. Yes. They're all fun. And uh, and if you like Wordle, they're all great um, to play. Yeah. Uh, and Monster Maze, which was fun as well. Yeah. So one of the things I was going to say with the yeah. Wordle, they all have subtle differences. They do. Like every, they all develop Diff by different people and they have subtle differences between them all yeah so yeah pretty yeah. cool it's interesting to see the different interpretations of and somebody inputs. else's game they all have different inputs different one ways. is scrolling one is the qwerty board one is you know um highlights the letters in order and the you know yeah, yeah. um and then yeah neat oh. Bum Fuzzled Game says they're working on a Wordle clone for the C64 uh, very cool awesome yeah that's very it's, cool it's something that I can see being made for every platform it's a simple enough game that you yep. can right so and, and i believe the original game has the word lists available yeah. so you don't have to do work in that respect mm -hmm. um, because each of these use the exact same database of words so it's mm -hmm. it's it's a good thing to put uh on every platform managed yeah. to get in a ten thousand word dictionary that's in very it. cool yeah each platform will have its own limitations mm -hmm. right the c64 would have to put everything into memory if it's not on a cart right or load from the disc each time which is terrible you don't want that um but the like the uh, 7800 and the 2600 both can store in the cartridge more more memory mm, right yeah yeah so we well, have to check the word for every entry so loading from the disc is out <laughs> yeah yeah, that's true. You don't want to load from the disc. <laughs> Too slow. Well, thank you for watching. Yeah. Um, hopefully, maybe some of those wordles gave you some inspiration for different things you could add into the C64 mm -hmm. version. Um, so on the show on Friday, we're going to be playing Alien Exterminator, cool. exclusive final build. Oh, exclusive final build. Final build. Nice. Uh, Huey's Party and Grizzards, which is a exclusive, uh, work, in exclusive work in progress update. Nice. It's an RPG-ish type oh, game. Oh, cool. Okay. Yep. Um, so that's at the same time on Friday. And then next Tuesday, we're going to be playing the trio uh of zark stars games we're going to oh. be having the exclusive world premiere of zark stars 2 ground force nice. and also thank revisiting you. thank you bum puzzle games and you are our 1000th follower <laughs> by the way thank you uh, so thank you <laughs> for following yes Woo. a thousand followers <laughs> It should roll over in, you know, whatever, a couple minutes. Well, we'll There's have to delay. wait. Yeah, Is we'll it there yet? Wait. It'll nope. it'll roll over. Will it say one k or will it say thousand? Yes. Yeah, really, yes, you are. Yes, really, Looking really, the, you are. What do you win? Uh, all of our appreciation. Yes. Is what you win. Our love and appreciation. <laughs> we love Thank you. you. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. It says nine nine nine, and it'll it'll right on the screen. You can see it. And yeah. It'll flip over. It'll to flip a over. It does take a little bit. We yeah. have to wait until it flips over. Yeah. That we, we can't. We have some wrap. We have a bit of wrap up. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we'll be playing Sark Stars 1, 2, and 3 that day. Yeah. So all the full trilogy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Thank you, Nostalgic. Yeah. yeah. Took a while. 
took only four years. Four years, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But we're very specific in our Look at that. Of... I'm only here completely at random. I scrolled by and saw zero page. Which is a programming term. Yes. So they're like, oh, zero page. Yeah. Commodore 64 is a zero page. <laughs> well, let's take a look at it. And you happen to be making a world. So you didn't, did you watch the Wordle stuff then? Uh, Zark Stars 3 was the original um, game that we played a long time ago. Mm. And it was named something else at the time. Mm. It was named Deep Space. So if you remember Deep Space, that was renamed Zark Stars 3 Deep Space. Okay. That was the... But um, why was it... So Dark Zark Stars 2 is coming out. Yeah. It was 3, 1, 2 was the order. 3... Oh! So it's why... weird. Okay. <laughs> it is weird, but that's the order. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Maybe, so they they called it three and then went, well, now we have to make one and two. Is that the idea? I don't know. <laughs> uh, we have an interview with Leandro Camera. Yeah, thousand! Woo! Yay! We're at a thousand! Yay! Thank you, Bum Fuzzled Games! <laughs> <laughs> so, go check out Bum Fuzzled Games. Yeah. <laughs> for the C60, upcoming C64 version yeah, of, of Wordle. Uh, Wordle. Yeah. Yay, a thousand! Yay. We did it. I'm glad we did it during the show. I know, I know. I'm like, someone Confetti. has to be the thousand. Yeah, yeah. Should have planned something. I don't know. One uh, kilo follower, one exactly. One kilo follower. Yeah. You know, and it actually shows a thousand, which is nice. Rather than the 1.2K, so you only get it in the hundreds now. Oh, I see. On the YouTube subscribers. On the YouTube ones. Well, hey, yeah, that's good stuff. I wonder if Zark Stars 2 or 3 will be as hard as 1. Yeah. Well, we did... Uh, 1 is hard one is as hard. hell. Yeah. Uh, Zark Stars 3 is not as hard. Yeah. Bum Fuzzle Games, uh, you're absolutely true. correct. So the, so the yeah. next celebration will be at 1,024. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So we'll, we'll celebrate the, the binary 1,000. The binary 1,000, yes. We've just yes. Uh, celebrated the decimal 1,000. Yeah. Yeah, 2,600. Yeah, we'll do the binary 1,000, then 2,600 will be the next yeah. goal. Kill a kibby follower. <laughs> oh. mm. I ordered two, and my goal is to win one before it arrives. Nice. One is so hard. Mm -hmm. It's so hard. Mm -hmm. We got pretty far in three, if I remember correctly. Mm. It was quite a while ago, so it'll be good to play it again. Um, and then the show after that, a uh, game I've been waiting to play for a long time, Game of the Bear 2, Too yeah. Much to Bear. I love that um, game. <laughs> looks really good. He's almost done it. He's like on release candidate 3, so I think it's almost done. Okay. By then, it's probably going to be done. Yeah. Which is good, because we'll have the full, full game. And Lear of the Ten Rack, and then we're going to be back to a 7800 day with Dragon's Havoc, which nice. has been progressed quite further. Mm -hmm. uh, hopefully I can um, get the full version out of him. For that day that'll be nice mm -hmm. um rather than the demo we'll see uh, adventures volley troll and robots rumble finery final updated binary of that mm -hmm. then uh exclusive final binary of space pac-man on march 25th uh then we'll be playing 1942 on that day and then way down there in uh april 8th razor's edge exclusive world premiere of that mm -hmm. that's done by the same person as keijo chases the cheese mm -hmm. no idea what razor's edge is about i'm trusting him fully yeah on that game sure and it's, it's gonna, gonna be, be awesome yeah he just kicked ass on keijo um and then somewhere in there we're gonna be doing atari age day um al's been giving updates in the forum about how far he is along okay with the all the packaging the cartridges the manuals the boxes nice for all the new releases yeah um so i should have my jaguar on loan by then that's exciting. so we'll be playing a jaguar game nice. um and sometime maybe in april as well we'll be playing dark keep which is an adaptation of a board game to the 2600 made by uh Edwards, what's his first name? Can't remember. I'm always amazed that you remember everyone's I names don't. too. I <laughs> don't. I don't. I barely remember anything. Yeah, yeah. Um, who made all the sports games? Okay. Um, yeah, something Edwards. Anyway, <laughs> I can barely remember all these names. Oh yeah. my god, and all these games, hundreds and hundreds. E. A. Smith. E. Smith. Yes. Edward Smith. Thank you. Thank you. Um, no, nom de game. Nom de game. Um, Pat Brady. <laughs> because somebody took Pat Brady, damn it. Really? And he's upset about it. Oh, no. 
I bet there's Pat underscore Brady or Pat dot Brady. I'm sure you can find something. You have to something. find something, yeah. yeah. Nom de game is good, though. Nom de game. Nom, nom, nom. <laughs> um, yeah, and EA Smith. Yes. There we go. Somebody on delay. Uh, and bah. <laughs> <laughs> bah. It's just mad. I just want Pat Brady. Uh, EA Smith's. It's in the game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it makes great, great sports games. Very detailed sports games. So that's are it. we are we still planning a Quadtari day someday? Yes, I do have to plan a lot of things for that. Yes. Um, and and arrange people to be here. So yeah, so it yeah. has to be at a certain time on a certain day. So yeah. you and Darcy can both be here. Yes. It's probably even going to be on a Saturday, like yeah. a Friday push to a Saturday, something like yeah, that. Yeah, I mean that's easier to do on on a Saturday for that for sure. Um, because Darcy does something friday nights but he's here friday mornings yes. for the show yeah, yeah but you're not here friday mornings so saturday's yeah. the best day, but we can we can work it out we'll yeah. work that out yeah yeah, yeah. yes Peace i uh, we are planning a uh quad tari well a multiplayer day let's say mm -hmm. um that includes a lot of quad quad games so we'll try and get four people here so we can play all four. That'd be so cool. Yeah. So we can play the quad games, Chaser, Space Debris, Witch's Tower, Raindrops. Why is it there twice? Um, medieval, <laughs> and Medieval Mayhem as yeah. well. Oh, we'll see if Erlen will return. Yeah. Maybe. We're Maybe always I hoping. I can bribe him with some cat treats yeah, or something. Yeah. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. We'll Erlen, ding, ding. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> he popped his head up. Oh, uh, did he? Because <laughs> <laughs> it's a woman's voice that says it, right? Yes. It's treat, treat time. time. Ding, yum, ding, yum, ding. yum, yum. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> um yeah so hope that'll be a fun day yeah and i'm planning on doing zph the game release and giveaway that day because yeah. darcy's in it and you're in it and yeah. i'm in it so it'll be fun to play our own characters mm -hmm. and then give away the cartridges as yes. well we have five to give away yeah um so i need to I need to do a lot of stuff. Yeah. No, but no, that's fine. I, I was need, just curious if you'd set them, any dates yeah. or anything. That's, that's It just says XXX. Yeah. Know. Yeah. So I need to do that's the fine. manual and the cover art gotcha. for the cartridge. Nice. Um, and you need to make some more little keychains. I can or make something. tons of keychains. Or we could even easy. do the coasters for that. Oh, the coasters. And if you want to do I coasters. Can even make, oh, I just lost one. A keychain um, and a coaster. I can make a coaster set. Ooh. Which. That's, which will, would be really That's nice. That's pretty special. Um, There's five to give away, so it would be five sets of Yeah, coasters. that's a lot of resin, but that's it's not hard resin. to... No, it's not hard to do, Maybe but... Just one. Yeah, I can, I can do a single coaster. Yeah. That's pretty easy to do. Yeah. My, my little coasters here. Yeah, very Sparkly, nice. zero-page coasters. I'm all over in the corner. I'm so squished today. I am over, too. I think maybe the camera's a little tilted. It is. It, it moves every time. It's fine. Oh, and <laughs> uh, in September... Coasters are a lie. I got some and they don't coast it's at no. all. Well, if you whip wet the surface of a counter that's true and you put it on the counter you can push it and go Boo. yeah mine seem to stick. oh it's worldwide zph i'll send it to anywhere yeah yeah it's it's just a free giveaway to anybody anywhere we have to figure out but it's just five you're not so sending 50 <laughs> so and then you can make your own after that you yeah. can order them through atari yeah but yeah. yeah we're just giving away five yeah and we'll sign them all and yeah. give you a special coaster and yeah, yeah. In September, we're going to do Atari celebrate Atari 2645th birthday. Yeah. By playing every single Atari game, Atari classic game. Okay. So pre 1992. Mm -hmm. um, and I've been looking for a comprehensive list in order of the game's release dates, and um, somebody gave Nathan Strum linked me to a page where it has a lot of the release dates, not all of them. So I'm still looking for more reference material for the game, the game, the company, and the release date. Mm. Um, hopefully by month. By year, that's fairly easy to fi figure out. But if you can get it down to like a month, a good list with month, and hopefully in a list format, mm. because the one I have right now is like spread over a bunch of pages and I have mm. to copy and paste, and there's 400 to do. Uh, it'll be spread over multiple days and it'll be done in the after dark. Not during the regular Because it'll shows. totally destroy <laughs> the regular show by completely disrupting yeah. it. Yeah. Right? Because there's so many. Yeah. We're going to limit it to about three or four minutes per game. Yeah. So we can go boom, 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 get through it. Yeah. And we're going to do it in order. Okay. Um, so starting in 1977. 
Nice. Going to 1992. Nice. So we'll see the progression. Actually, there was a um, Reddit post. Yeah. Just today, I think it was. What is, throughout its lifetime, what system had the most advances between its first game and last? Oh. oh. Not just first and last, but over its lifetime. Yeah. Well, it's got to be an early system because... Yeah. Uh, I can't think of any modern systems that have had these massive advances. Because no. you look at the 2600, it went from combat yeah. to like Pitfall 2. Yeah. I would say it's the most audibly and visually impressive. Impressive. It may yeah. not be the best game ever yeah. made, but the look of it. Yeah. And 2600 yeah. was on the list. Yeah. I think it is the 2600 because you look at combat, it is chunky and blocky. Yeah. yeah. And pretty much has three colors, no title screen. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And then when you go to like Pitfall 2, it has three voice harmony music, super crazy, awesome mm -hmm. colors. Um, is the first game ever to have a um, save system, a, a checkpoint system. You know those crosses on the floor mm -hmm. in Pitfall 2? You, as soon as you cross one of those, it remembers that's where you go back to if you die. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fewer skilled programmers in the 2600 days. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think it's 2600 that throughout its lifetime. I mean, definitely in terms of homebrew, yeah, 2600 mops the floor with oh, probably well. any system yeah. out there. Yeah. Um, in terms of combat it, to... It, yeah, the progression. I don't know, Galagon? Yeah, <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah uh Zevius? i don't know crazy stuff now yeah um yeah i'll post a inquiry in the 2600 form for the list um i've just said it on the show so far but we're pretty far away but i do need to start organizing it yeah um start collecting it fill in any gaps because i should play the games i've never played before yeah yeah so yeah. i have at least an inkling of what how the game is played yeah um, so I don't go, yeah. I have no what to do. Uh, yeah. uh, oh, oh, three minutes are up. Next game. Yeah. Everybody's like, ah, <laughs> you don't know how to play this game. Yeah. You should have done your homework <laughs> on the 400 games you have to play. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, oh, and a Vectrex day we want to do. Yes, Vectrex. Oh, there's the multiplayer marathon too. A mule for the 5200, Electro Ball, Beer Pong, Warring Worms, yeah. Vroom. Yep. A bunch of four player games. Oh, yeah. There's a that lot of good ones. Yeah. I think that's going to be really fun. And yeah. it'll be really hot in here because whenever oh. we cram a bunch of people in this room, it's like... Yeah. Oh, so hot. So I need to either do it now yeah. <laughs> or do it later in the year because yeah. it's, it's quite nice now, especially yeah. at night. When it's cool. It yeah. has to be It has to be not um, 40 degrees. Oh, so, yeah. Okay. Yeah. We're done uh, for tonight. And we'll be back on Friday. Friday. I had to look at the day. I'm like, what day is it? <laughs> And then just say the opposite. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so thanks for hanging out. Uh, Bumfuzzled Games. Thank you for being the 1,000th yes. follower. That is so cool. Uh, Carl G, RC70, Vitoku 8 bits, Atari 2600 dude. Uh, Nom de Game, yeah. a cardboard box. Uh, um, Charles Whelan, Nostalgic, MK Smith, Spiceware. Didn't even see you uh, type it. Yeah, yeah. Um, who else? Vitoko. Who else? Who else? Old style. Mm -hmm. I haven't checked out what you sent me, but oh, I can't wait. Uh, Azure. Azure. Lots and lots of chatties. Lots of chatting yeah. today. Vodka. Great suggestion for Wordle. Yep. Love it. Oh, That's if you want to learn all one. about... Our trip to Maui, we talked all about it in the After Dark yeah, we that did. we did on uh, we even showed some photos. Sunday, we showed yeah. some photos of Cats of Miaui. Yeah. So you want to check that out. Oh, and that's the end of the list. Excellent. Yes. <laughs> Bumfuzzle Game says, I'll be looking for my prize money in the mail. <laughs> so just keep looking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so thanks for tuning in. Thank and you. Uh, we'll see you on Friday. Yeah. See you then. Yeah. Bye-bye. Bye. Have a good night. Have a good night.